Hello. I think we're live. How is everyone doing on this fine, fine evening? Um, yeah, how is everyone doing? Oh, shit, got my audio completely set up poorly. One second. Probably would be nice if it came from my headphones. There we go. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. How's everyone doing today? We're back with the Rise of the Samurai campaign of Fukuhara Taira that we started yesterday after cancelling the rather boring um, Aizu campaign, the, the challenge. Um, hello, hello Lucas, hello Feda, hello Darkness, Darkness, your old friend. <laughs> hello Stormtrooper, hello Chili, hello Skrimi, hello Tile. Hello Stormtrooper, hello Marios, hello Meldor, that's about it for now. Hello all of you in the chat. Um, uh, before we get started here, I, uh, I actually have a couple of ideas for what my my next challenge or my next campaign might be after this. I might not do a vote um, because someone who is, uh, well, De De Demo Man Chaos or Demon Nutshows as we like to call him who comes here all the time in the chat also. He's been making some mods, but that basically let you play, for example, a Fall of the Samurai clan in the Sid Goku Jidai, or a Fall of the Samurai clan in this campaign, or a clan from this in the Sengoku Jidai, or in the uh, Fall of the Samurai campaign, or a Sengoku Jidai clan in this campaign, or in the Fall of the Samurai campaign. Basically, all kinds of combinations. Uh, and I think that playing a Fall of the Samurai clan in either this campaign, or just in the regular Sengoku Jidai normal campaign would quite be quite fun. So I've got a feeling that that might be my next campaign if uh, those mods are all working correctly and everything. Once we've completed this one, maybe I'll just do something like that. But I'm not sure yet. It's something to do in the future anyway, because I think I like the idea of it. Um, Tell, pronounce it like you're Dutch, goddammit. How did I say it? <laughs> just Tell. I, I mean, the only Tell I know is Tell Beckham, but uh, I'm assuming your name is pronounced the same. Hello, Marcin Roman. Hello, uh, Lord Edgman. You should have started at 3k. Well, no. <laughs> Hello, Jose Guzman. How are you all doing today? Um, right, so I guess we'll just continue on with the campaign. Tell Aula Spiegel. Okay. I mean, I... Yeah, uh, uh, um, so yeah, last time we left off, we were actually... Were we entirely at peace? No, the uh, Kitapatake had just declared war on us the, um, last turn. Our vassal and ally joined in, though, so their main armies are on here somewhere, which means we'll probably get attacked here soon. Whether they win or lose, I'm not sure yet, but whatever happens, I guess we can then respond to that. Um, we're going to get all of these units in the right areas, etc. You're going to keep trucking along through to this army here. You're actually going to go in there. This place is currently exempted. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have to be right now. Yep, we're totally fine. Um... And then we have, uh, yeah, we just got armies being built right now. Uh, pretty trash stuff still, because we, we can't really recruit anything better yet. But um, we're uh, we're getting there. Mostly, I just want to go towards, uh, oof, 10% are requesting allegiance. Uh, and this is generally better. I kind of like the idea of a requesting allegiance, but I'm going to go for duelist. Um, we just want to get a cheese and a kaga so I can get my recruitment provinces sorted, and then we can just kind of go from there. Hello, Tabaka. How are you doing? Um... But uh, for the moment, yeah, we're just recruiting these units still. I'm still building up the forces. I've kind of got... Kinda, I've got quite a few units around the place that I could form a, another army with if I absolutely had to, I suppose. This place needs that dude. In fact, it needs more dudes because that's getting less and less happy. So I'm going to have to keep recruiting units here for now. Um, let's just go for Naganata Levy because they're cheaper. I don't necessarily need anything specific right now. Other than that, we're doing all right on happiness in most places, yeah. As long as I keep recruiting them, we're good. I have a little bit of money left over, which I think I was starting to... Yeah, I was starting to build these Senmin villages with. So I'm going to keep doing that, I think. Or I can upgrade this to a market, get more wealth. Uh, I mean, both of them are wealth. The harbor gives me more wealth and a trade. Yeah, maybe go for that first, actually. It's also quite cheap. Can I build anything else then? Not really, except for these things, but I don't care too much about that. Eh, well, in that case, let's get this upgraded then to a market instead. Okay. 
See, I don't really want to do anything with this army right now because I want to wait and see what happens to these guys. If they come this way, or if they don't attack here right now, then it likely means they're kind of coming to Omi, which means we'll have to sit there and defend. If they take out Yamato, then I guess I have to go and take them out. I don't think I can reach in a single turn, though, even if I move, like, right now. Like, right now, I still wouldn't be able to reach. Plus, my town is incredibly unhappy. We even have a... Metsuke or Jun Satsushi here, although this guy just leveled up just now, so he's going to start becoming much better at converting this place over now. Although that's still taking quite a long time, to be fair. But that's alright, we'll handle it. Uh, we got a ninja here as well, so we have possible sabotage. We have a ninja in here as well, so that's the second one we could use. Um, and then we have one over in Tango. So, speaking of Tango, we got to start thinking about where to attack next. I really want to go this way, because I want to take a Chizun and Kaga. Um, we are not at war with the people to our west. We are quite friendly with them, in fact. That's the Koide, who are actually, yeah, they are Tyra, so they would be a great clan to just keep friendly with. They're at war with the Kyogoku and the Masuda, who apparently I've met. They're, okay, that's a pretty large clan to their west, and then the Masuda, was it? They're even further to the west, but they're also quite large. Alright, so our friends to, the, to our west are probably going to die soon. Moderate strength. Eh, we'll see. Maybe they maybe they get lucky. I don't know. Um, and then, right, yeah, if we were to declare war on the Sugawara, then we will go to war with the Okura. However, not necessarily, because what I could do, if I do this, we have a pretty high chance of succeeding. We get the town for free. That will declare war on this clan, but not that one, right? Because that's not... It. I mean, it's an act of war. But I don't know if that means I actually legitimately declare war on me, or if they declare war on me, uh, if they declare war on me, or if I declare war on them. I'm willing to test that theory. That game theory. Oh, we got a 90... Oh, don't, don't, don't do that. 95% chance of su success, so I think I'm just going to move over and do that. You're going to lose some money from not being in here for a turn, but... 200 bucks or so. I'm willing to take it for now. Um, let's check chat. Are Tyra ancestors of the Mori clan? I don't think so, but I don't know. I can't play this game without trainer. It's take too much time. Forgive me, guys. Forgive him. Guys, come on. Greetings from Russia. Hello, Mussosini. Greetings from, from the land down on that. Hello. Um, you can always start a no build or coast challenge next. I could. Sure, yeah. Donkey, which unit is the best in Rise of Samurai? The Foot Samurai is the best unit in the game. In, in, the, in the DLC. Okay. Right. Uh, I think we're at the end of the turn here. I get well. I could recruit another unit, I suppose. Um, we have six archers here now. We have six archers up here as well. This army definitely needs some more infantry. Let's just get another unit in here as well, especially because we're gonna attack soon. Tango is pretty unhappy and is going to stay that way and only get more. So I, I need to. I just need to recruit more units in here and then expand. Because if we're gonna do this next turn, I actually do need to actually take it. Gandalf, you must take it. <gasps> yeah, I, I I need I need to go here the moment I do des decide to do this, which basically means I have to move out right away, because I have to I have to get in there. Otherwise, obviously they just come and take it back, and then what's the point? So I could technically wait, but I already moved them over here, which makes me feel like it's a waste if I wait now. So I guess we're just gonna move out right away, and just recruit more units there to keep the place happy. We should be able to get there next turn. Um, a little bit wounded, but that's that's fine. I think we're, we're going to be okay. So this is minus two right now. It's going to get worse every turn, but if we keep recruiting units there, it'll be fine. All right. Sounds good. Let's end the turn and see what happens. Hey, guys. Next video, top five best Rise of the Summer units. <laughs> I haven't done any kind of edited or scripted videos on this game yet. It's kind of crazy, to be fair. Can you recommend any Dutch recipes I can try cooking? Just don't cook Dutch, man. It's not... We have, like, shitty World War II meals still. Oh, what the fuck? Well... <laughs> okay, fine. I guess I'm going to war with you. Uh, can you guys join me, please? Okay, good. Alright, well... Since they declared war on me, that kind of makes things a little bit more straightforward. Heir to the Empire. Wonderful news. Did we look? Wait, what? Noble Tyra daughter and consort of the Emperor has given birth to a son, Ontoku. 
It is only a matter of time before a Tyra sits upon the Chrysanthemum throne. The Chrysanthemum throne, even. Okay, sure, sure. All right, so they've declared war on us. Um, Prostagma? <laughs> you say that. That's a pretty large army. I think we're just going to have to go back into Tango um, and see what happens, honestly. Because that's a pretty large army. If they decide to go towards Tango, then I'll, I'll happily receive them there. Uh, this is still getting worse, so i got to keep recruiting a unit there. Have to, otherwise it's just going to be a problem. I'm going to keep getting more of these guys here. I'm going to send one there again. Tsuna! And then one up this way as well. Nothing happened here yet, but I'm, I'm still not going to go out and attack them. That's actually slightly wounded. That's slightly wounded there. I would like to recruit more units here, so let's just get, keep keep getting regular Naganata Levy. I'm actually going to go put you here. Oh no, that's impossible because that's like 0% the, the right religion. I can start converting it, but I think that's pointless. I either put him back into town or I can just wait for them to move over and I can still do this anyway. It's kind of pointless then, because if I beat this army, I might as well just take the town afterwards, right? But, um, eh, I'll keep him around here. Bribing is pointless. Thanks for the sub. Hello, Mark Kimberly. Um, is that still called Realm Divide or something else? Is there something like Realm Divide? Wait, have I actually caught Donkey streaming? Yes, you have. Um, there is something that triggers Realm Divide, because there's still a fame bar. I don't quite remember how it works. Though, if all the Tyra factions stay loyal to you, or if everyone, if there's a straight up Realm Divide, I don't quite recall. Let's hope we don't have to figure that out for a little while longer. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll keep you here for now. Let's just go check out this place here. Yeah, it's basically, oh wow, it's actually going to rebel as well. It is becoming Tyra if I stay here. Um... I still have to wait a long time though. I don't think it's, it's gonna it's gonna take too long to convert that over, so let's just go back here. Alright, now we got some buildings done. Great. Sounds good to me. Sorry, my nose is also a little bit full by the way, so that's why I might sound a little bit ill. I'm trying to swallow the mucus away <laughs> constantly. Okay, we can get one unit out of here. Uh let's just take one of these boys, I think. Send them over towards Omi. Boys, we also have one too many units here, so I guess we can send another one over that that way as well. I want it that away. Go there now. Thanks for the sub. Um, wait, I'm talking about Frodo. Hold on, hold on. I need to read this. Saruman, take it all. Bag end, Shire of dirt. Gandalf, lay me down. My hobbit hole will hurt your crown. What the? Do you use mods? Any mods that I use will be in the description. So just scroll down. Or, yeah, go to the description and scroll down. Whiskey helps with a block nose. Does it? <laughs> I didn't play Fall the Samurai. Fall or Rise Samurai before, only the Shogun 2. It's the first time I've seen this, the video. Lol. Well, I would recommend Fall the Samurai for sure. Rise is not as good, but here we are playing it anyway. Um, are you suggesting that Frodo finally decide to take it up the arse? I mean, Jesus Christ, what's wrong with you guys? Um, right, I think I don't need to recruit anything else. We've already got everything recruited in the right areas. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I don't want. To, I don't need more units there. I right, got plenty coming. Now I'm talking about coming. <laughs> more subs, thanks. Hello, Emil. Pal, how are you doing, pal? Rise of the Samurai is harder than regular Shogun 2. Yeah, it probably is. Doi! Ah, there they are. I guess they're... Oh man, if only they moved a little bit further, I would have taken attrition. That would have been great. Oh, they're going back. Okay, well in that case, I guess we're going to go on the offensive after all. Art Mastered. That was that one? Okay. Um, do I go back towards the main thing? Diplomatic relations aren't terrible. This is not terrible either. Um, return of economic growth. I mean, that's nice, but take a long time for that to actually be worth something, really. I need, like, faster conversion or something. Is that in here as well? Like a just straight up, you know, go spread of influence, but that's way too far down. That's not gonna happen. 
6% bonus to clan wide tax rate. That's not bad. That would take 20 turns to get there. And Eater Replenishment, that's pretty good. I don't really need... No, well, Mountain Dragon out there would be alright. Again, I'm not going to recruit those yet though, but I think that's still not a bad idea. You know what, let's go Rice Paddies first though, I think that makes more sense actually. Oh no, the Doi are dead. The dead Doi. Alright, well, if you're going to back off, then I think I will do the opposite. I'm going to go on the offensive here. Um, how unhappy. I would leave this place at a point where it would rebel. Well, let's see here. This is getting better now, so I, I can move out more units, but I don't necessarily need to move out that many units. Definitely want to move out you. Let's just take two units. That should be fine. Well, no, what? Uh, so it's in a... Okay, it's minus five right now. It'll be minus four. Yeah, no, I need to leave it at that. Unless I keep recruiting units here, but I guess I'm going to keep recruiting, recruiting units here as well. So let's do that. And then uh, we're going to go on the offensive, I think. We're going to... Well, we're going to move over to Wakasa, or towards the border anyway. So I get some replenishment, and then we attack it next turn. I could also just take it right now with this, but I can't because I haven't got the money for it. So there you go. It was all a lie. Alright, so this army is actually one unit away from being full. Which means I'm going to take two units. This is just a regular town, right? Yeah. I'm going to take two units, put them behind the town. That way I still got the full garrison as well. Might as well make use of every last unit we can get here. Um, Alright, so that's just currently fine. That's currently fine. Free predicted. What? Have I got two units going there or something? What does that mean? What in tarnation? Alright, so I'm going to keep recruiting units here. And then I'll keep recruiting units here as well. Unless I want to recruit more there, but I don't really. So let's get another dude there. Then you're going to go back here. Oh boy, we got 20 knock from Nake. <laughs> 20 knock for you, bro. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. Thank you for the 20 Norwegian kroner. Uh, and uh, let me also catch up on chat. A most satisfactory end to our discussions. discussions. Thank you so much. Um, how about no archers challenge? On regular Shogun 2, that'd be super simple. In fact, I think I've done that like by default. Uh, on several occasions. Um, as a Portuguese, I think you need some Christ in your land. Oh, way too soon. <laughs> um, I already did an Otomo challenge not so long ago. I did indeed. That was actually, yeah, that was also no archers. <laughs> so, yep. Um, apparently, we are having some sort of global wave of stuffy noses because mine is also stuffed. And I was talking to a friend in the US. Her nose is also stuffy. My vet's also stuffy. Wow. What a coincidence. It's almost like viruses move really fast. Um, I see you are a man of culture as well. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Yeah, if you have a blocked, stiffy nose, you just put some Vicks on your finger and literally shove it up both your nostrils. Ignore the label on the Vicks that says don't put it in or if it says it lies. <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll do that. That wasn't a joke, it really works. Okay, I am a, I'm inclined to agree, or I'm inclined to believe you, but my, my girlfriend uh, uses Vicks all the time and it smells... Horrid. I'm pretty sure if I put it on my nose, I will just die. So I don't know if I want to do that. It feels slightly spicy, but it's not that bad. Yeah, I'm really shit with spice, though, so I would just... I, I would die. It would be unfortunate, but it would be the end of me. Um, It'll be the death of the hobbits! <laughs> Good quote there. Alright, let's keep going. I'm gonna drink a little bit. Not whiskey, by the way. Mm. My allies got a rather large army on my border. Let's hope we stay allies for a little while longer. How much is 20 knock in euro slash dollar? Uh, I think it was... I think 20 is like 1 euro or something, if I recall correctly. Something like that. I'm sure Nake will be able to tell you. Alright, so we have actually a similar amount of archers, except I get an extra bonus one. A bonus archer. A barcher. Um, we have two generals against their three, but they have Naganata Levy, whereas I've got four Naganata attendants. These are all fully re replenished as well. I got some extra units here too. This should be a fairly straightforward win for us. They do have a lot of morale increase, which is actually probably more viable in this than it is in regular Shogun 2, but divide by 10? Yeah, I think so. I think 
it's about two euros. Um, unfortunately, um, whenever I get a super chat, I am of course, you know, I'm always super grateful for all donations, but it's unfortunate because super chats I get 70% of, and I think YouTube takes about 30%. So if I get 20 knock, I only really get 13 and a half or so. Which, you know, is still obviously, I, I really appreciate it, but um, if, I, if anyone wants to donate, it generally is more beneficial to do it through PayPal. There's a link to my Streamlabs thing in the description. Um, so that's generally the better way to do it, but obviously, you know, some people want to just do it through, um, uh, what do we call it? And I'm totally okay with that, because obviously I appreciate all donations. Except yours. You know who I'm talking to. No, I'm, I'm joking. Um, I don't know where they're going to come from, so I don't actually know how to set up a, um, about this. But, um, I guess we can just kind of set up in different directions. I don't know, it's kind of weird, because I don't have walls to defend, so I'm actually going to be kind of going on the offensive here, aren't I? I don't like, I just put this up really, you know, nicely um, symmetrical, and then now I'm going to split sh shit up and it's going to be totally fucked again. So let's do, like, basically every three units. So we got three there. Oh. It's not going to quite work out. Because I don't have enough units for that. Three there, and then I only have two on the end, but that's okay. And then the generals. I mean, I'm gonna probably, uh, depending on where they come from, I'm just gonna set everything up in one direction anyway. Oh my god. One direction. Monkey, would you want a Total War Warhammer 40k? No. I have no, in I don't really care that much about <laughs> knock or worth shit, to be honest. Let me share that message. Um, I don't care that much about regular Warhammer, and I would care even less about 40k, because I, I, I don't like sci-fi stuff that much. No. Don't do that. How dare you. Alright, well, let's see what happens, I guess. Okay, there's a really decent portion there. And then there's a decent portion there. My units are going to come from behind them. Might work out very poorly. Um, I honestly think it probably would be better to put my archers up front. But yeah, I actually can just kind of keep those units there. Unless there's all the archers are. Oh, shit, they're fucking charging straight up over here. Oh, right, because they're ranged, of course. They can just do that. All right, well, let's get you guys back then. Let's get my own generals to kind of match that as well. Nope, just the, ten the generals, please. Um, all right, so where are the archers at? There's, I saw one or two in there. Oh my god, my nose. There's another two, so there's probably going to be two or so over here as well. And then, Yeah, I got my units reinforcing here. I only wouldn't want to charge them if there's bow units. These guys are going to have terrible morale, so this whole plan is going to fall apart very quickly, I'm sure. Um, okay, I need to pull you guys back. Our general is and you guys as well. Danger, my lord. But not really like that. Okay, we're seeing some charges. We're being shot to pieces here. Oh, but so are they, so that's fine. Okay, fuck up that general, please. You guys fuck up that general. This has taken a lot of losses already. But I guess we're going to take some losses here. There's not really much to, we can do about that, unfortunately. There's a third general there, of course, as well. And then there's actual units coming in here now, so... Let's get into some kind of position. This unit's been taken fucking apart as well, I just realized. I'm hearing charges, but I don't know where. Unless it's just these guys here. Let's counter charge those. There's way more shit coming now. Let's get another unit from over here. We got three units over here, we can start charging those. That's Naganata as well. I don't really want to charge them too much. We've got spare units here, I just realized. Let's get one of those over there. Yeah, there's some bow units there as well. Okay, let's start getting you guys this way, because even if they do turn around, it's still destruction. Okay, we got one general fucked. There's actually Naganata levy here as well, so I do have to get have some infantry there as well. Um, okay, just kind of go over there. Maybe start counter-charging them here as well, although we are almost out of infantry here. So I sent way too much stuff the other way. I gotta fight them as well. Okay, you fight them, you come this way. Oh, you've got, a, you've got another unit there as well, okay. Oh, hello! Maybe don't do that. It's just an idea. And I should probably start just starting shooting at the other general or something as well. You start shooting at that one too, if you wouldn't mind. 
and then also you're gonna do that. A little bit of this. I also definitely should have done this ages ago. Forgot I had that. Very useful. Go in there. Pretty sure you're supposed to charge them, and I kind of got sidetracked. They have fire arrows as well. You go over here. Uh, our generals fire some fire arrows as well. We already got some stuff routed, so we're not doing too poorly here. I feel like charging in the back of some stuff would probably be beneficial to us, or maybe even going after their archers. Although they're in the water, so I don't know how effective that will really be. Start killing that general there. We got one unit in here. That's good. Kill the general as well, if you could. If you wouldn't mind. This unit's getting wrecked. Let's try and pull them back, I guess. See if they'll survive, but they'll probably route more sooner rather than later. You guys get in there. Kill that unit, please. Okay, we got our generals in those units. We should be alright. Steal and inspire. Oh, shit. Right, that's not good. Let's get you in there and then you out of there. That's probably a good idea. Um... I had seven range units here. We actually lost a range unit here, I think. Not sure exactly what happened, but... Oh, and I think we got a mass route. Certainly looks like it. There we go. Oh, we got flanked in the back here. Oh no, that was us attacking them in the back. Of course it was. Alright. I'm still seeing some losses here. There's definitely something that's still going. There we go. Alright, cool. Well, that was fairly decently done, I think. I'll take it. Come here, please. Plenty of shit to murder, that's for sure. That's for day, I'm sure. Let's have a look at the chat here. Um, super chat is very greedy. 10 to 15% is a fair price. Yeah, unfortunately, it's like 30% they take. Did you install a new Good Shogun 2 camera mod? No, this uh, the, the old one is available again. It's it's working again. I don't quite know what happened, but it's back. And it's, ho it's here to stay. I, I hope. Um... Kill that unit for me. If you're putting your arch in front, it might be useful to use a skirmish mode to enable them to. No, because then they'll. If you skirmish around. I hate skirmish anyway, because if you use skirmish mode, it means you're not microing your units effectively. And yeah, of course, I made a mistake there probably, but even so, if I had them skirmish, they would run like all over across this castle because there's too many units around them that they don't know where to skirmish to, and I'll just end up running into units or not doing anything for ages. You're better off just using them manually. Oh, hello, there are some fucking huge units right there to murder. Let's go ahead and murder them, please. Shooting at those units, in fact, you might want to help out there as well. Let this one be, run through it. Um, skirmish mode is garbage, yeah, there you go. City wall in Rise of Samurai, or no city wall in Rise of Samurai, looks like the ancient timeline. Yep, yeah, this is just, this is like the first level of town, you don't get walls. You just get, like, small fences. Um... The Gag Gagatina attendants seem to be decent. <laughs> Naginata. Yes, they are. They're pretty good. That's why I, I kind of want to spam them right now. Interesting. I wonder if they, if you could set up your units there. Keep doing it, boys. Wait, that's one of my routed units. What the fuck are we doing here? <laughs> this one's about to ride as well. Wait, that one, yeah, that one's just right, just, what the fuck, I don't even know what's going on, okay, kill that unit there, I should really be triple spooning this right now. <laughs> Sorry about the sniffling and stuff. Fatigue, my lord, and some must rest! Alright, I think we're good, there's definitely still a whole bunch of stuff that survived, but... Close victory, I don't agree with that, but alright. <laughs> if you say so. Even better for Tyra, they have plus one armor and I think they're 20% off. Yes, so they're a pretty good deal. Indeed. Indeed, good sir. Are we going to do another drinking game? Every time I do a British accent, we drink. Alright. Uh, yeah, that one, I, I think I forgot about a unit somewhere. And then it got kind of wrecked. But other than that, it's all good. Probably just going to merge it. Nice level up for you there, even though you lost the battle. Oh, and I was supposed to lead this with my Daimyo, so maybe I should have taken my... Or sorry, not my daimyo, my son in there. So I should have taken the daimyo out of the town, I think. But oh well. They're coming back again. Damn you. Damn you. Did uh, my second general rank up? No, it was actually, it was the daimyo that ranked up. Which is exactly why I didn't want that. Only 12% of the campaign movement range. Ugh. I think we still get both points though. Still good enough to take. 
All right, well, this is fine. We can just kind of go on the offensive. I'm just going to merge these two units and get a new archer unit here. And then I've got these boys as well. Boys? So, yeah, I don't know what to do here exactly. Oh, they might actually be turning back to come and attack me here. They've actually got all the upgrades and stuff as well. And they've got bow attendants, which are better archer units. There's only 80 of them. Oh, and they've got sword attendants as well, which is like an Adachi unit. So if I go ahead and take this right now, that means I have to fight that army with this army. And I don't know how well that will go. So I think I'm going to go back into Tango again. Wait for even more units. If it wants to come this way, I think I'm okay with that. Uh, where did that super small unit go? Of 60 Naganata Levy. Did they end up disappearing after all? I didn't merge them. I only merged archers just now. Alright, kill these guys off please. Didn't lose anyone. Fantastic. Damn it! I need to use this guy. Why do I keep forgetting? I could attack them as well, but I honestly might be able to peace out with them. Although I'm not sure if I want to. No, not yet. They're not weak enough just yet. If I could sabotage you for a reasonable price, that's not bad. It's 48% only though, but... Worst case scenario, we spent 300 bucks on free experience. Alright, since I did it, I think I might go after him and kill him off. Although, unfortunately, that means my vassal could then go and just take Ize, which would really suck, because that's all my effort. I've done it. It belongs to me! You want it for yourself! Boo! Boo! Baggings! Do not take me for some conjurer of cheap tricks! I'm not trying to rob you. I'm trying to help you. Oh, Gandalf. So, okay, enough. Enough with the quotes, alright. Um, okay, we got one more happiness coming in here. And we got a level up for this boy. In fact, we have several level ups I should probably be looking at. Uh, definitely the boyhood companion. How about happiness here? Not quite enough yet. I am, however, going to move an archer this way, cancel this one, put another one here, and then send one of these boys over here. What a move. Um, this is minus three, but that's that has to be exempted right now, because it was exempt, not exempted last time, okay. Sounds bueno. So Omi is unhappy as well, actually quite unhappy. I need to keep stuff in there too. That's okay, we can just move stuff back. In fact, I'm still not entirely sure if I'm going to attack this right now. I'd have to move a general out. So I definitely wouldn't be able to get back into my own, like, into Omi. I guess I could get there next turn. It'd be nice if I can kill them off right now. But I suppose it's not a huge problem if I can't. So maybe the sabotage was worthless, but I, I get 15 experience out of it, so it's not too bad. Um, yeah, I think I'm actually going to let them... Well, they'll route super easily. But then they get away if I don't kill them all off. And I, I feel like I don't want to take attrition or wounded wounds right now if this army is going to be... Coming to attack me soon. And that's a scary army, that is. That's a scary army, that is. We encountered the ta 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 So you don't want peace. Fair enough. You want war. Also, fair enough. Okay, well. I finally caught the donkey streaming. Hello, Gothic Samurai. You've done it. Congratulations, you've achieved the ultimate life goal. Now what will you do with your prize? 100,000 seconds of viewing my channel. Having to view my channel. Uh, what were we doing again with ninjas? I can't, it was this one, right? But only a single point, was it? It was one point in each, I think I did. Yeah, pretty sure. And if not, then we're trying a new thing. Uh, you're still gonna hang out and do this at some point. If this army decides to go this way, then I'll definitely do it, I think. Ugh, more bow attendants. You know what? That might not be a bad idea next turn. If they linger behind, I think I could grab those. If anything, it makes them weaker. My ultimate life goal is to get at least one battle against Mr. Donkey. Actually, you didn't say Mr., you said Donkey. Wow. Unbelievable. I will slay peasants by the masses. That's what I shall do with my time. Good man. Hi, Sandvone. How much Lord of the Rings stuff are you going to say? Just about the same as every day, I think. You sick donkey boy? A little bit. Not like... I'm not sick or ill or anything, but my nose is a bit stuffy. It's a bit stuffy. Um, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, 
Yep, let's move on, I think. Okay, my, my, my allies moved the army westward, which is good. I don't want them to sit around there on, the, on my border. Because right now, we're doing alright, but these armies of the enemies are really scary. It's so scary. Um, which does mean that... Um, I, like, I don't really want to be attacked by someone else again. God, every time I move my army there, they're just going to move back again, though. It sucks, dude. Maybe I'll wait one more turn. Ooh, a new general. Uh, yeah, we don't have any actual generals. Just family, isn't it? Yeah, so this is our first actual general. So we'll make him the commissioner for... Uh, supply. Someone actually did mention, if you make... Or like, supply is much more important than development in this one. Because replenishment's quite low in this, so we, we definitely want to... In fact, I might want to do that right now. We lose the... Yeah, it's not really a big deal. I'd, I'd rather take an extra percent of replenishment, I think. And then we'll make you the Commissioner for Development instead. Commissioner for Development. And you're going to go join that army there, I think. We can also unexempt this for now. You can go in here. Wow. Wow, okay. Distracting armies, entertaining generals. And yeah, distracting armies. Seducing. Ooh. What else do we get? Seducing. Entertaining knobheads. Uh, entertaining generals. Entertaining nobles. So much entertainment going on here. Okay, so seducing means we get... Any, like, we can seduce enemy generals to join us. Um, distracting armies is, I think, the same as um, sabotaging, which is good. Entertaining generals, I think, just increases their loyalty. Not entirely sure. Um, entertain, entertaining nobles is just increasing our wealth. So, like, most valuable out of those is probably... Or, well, distracting armies for sure. And then I guess also seducing. So I'm going to shove once in here. Let's do it. I can get an anime servant. Uh, that's not... Ooh, entertaining generals and entertaining nobats. All right, let's do that. Fucking no bet. Haven't got the money for that. Alright, because we just spend a thousand bucks. I was gonna say, man, I'm broke. What happened? We encountered the Kibi, and the Hata have died. How unfortunate for them. How very sad. Uh, no trade is, is gone or anything, so that's all fine. You still don't want to peace out. Right, so you're going in there, which we should make that place happy. Because you're happy. So they've not gone... You know what, in fact, I'm almost tempted to send this army up that way too and just go at them with two armies. But then there is this army here that could become a problem. But I should probably go on the offensive over here then and ignore that since they're not coming down this way after all. Let's shove you in here first of all. And you. Right, so we're going to put you in and then we're going to take out a couple of Naganata Levy, the wounded ones. Actually, we didn't take out one, but I, I need to keep a, I need to keep a couple units behind here. But I guess we'll figure out who that's going to be. Because uh, currently we need five units in here to keep this place happy, four units to keep it happy, because that's still going away. So we got one already. I can also exempt it from taxes, so I think we can just take the entire rest of the army, which is a full stack. So we're going to go on the offensive after all. we got to do something. I can't just linger here in the darkness. So we'll recruit a unit. Of boys and then we'll make them into men I kind of want to go here again but then I mean they're just gonna come back again this way aren't they so maybe I should wait a turn I'm also probably just gonna move you back in here because we're losing a lot of money in fact I should not have taken if I was gonna take him out of Kyoto I should have put someone else into Kyoto to make me some money in the meantime but oh well still need that dude there we are still recruiting those two that's good this place is still unhappy. Only one now, so if I recruit one more unit, it'll actually be okay to leave it unexempted. Let's get another archer. Fuck it. Okay, this guy should have replaced that guy in there just to make a little bit more money in the meantime, but oh well. Um. Okay. Okay. How are our friends to the west? This is the Koida. Are you still doing all right? Are you still... Yeah, you're still the t you're actually you've, you've expanded by two towns, so you're doing really well it seems. And you've killed one of your enemies, which I guess is the one that just died. So you're now you're up against the Masuda. Hopefully you keep doing well. 
and we can just have a safe friend on our on our west uh, western border. After free, your rank will only increase. What? Sorry, Mr. Monarchy, but still my ultimate life goes to battle against you at least once. Okay. You worked around replenishment for merging. I mean, you really love that though, but it's much quicker. It's eh. It's also expensive. I mean, I, I you can do both just because you get a little bit of extra replenishment doesn't mean you don't have to merge anymore. You can still do both. Um, fun fact read off Reddit: you can you have to kill three people to become a serial killer. Interesting. Well, I suppose that makes sense. Two isn't really a serial, is it? You can be a serial killer without any victims. Just don't get caught. Better facts. I don't know if that makes sense. How much do you get nickname is real question. Like a nickname is a serial killer? Yeah, that's gotta kill quite a few for that, I think. Alright, anyway, let's end this shite. I can't do anything with the ninja. Probably should have put him in the army. Oh well. I oh, know my ally's back. Please don't declare war on me. Okay. Okay, okay. I think I'm still going to expand and take Ize, since I'm kind of building an army in Omi here anyway, otherwise we're going to have rebellions. Oopsie. Oopsie daisy. We actually only need one happiness here besides the unit we're currently recruiting, unless we get plus one from winter or something, but we don't. Oh, we fucking don't, I'll tell ya. Alright, so I think I may have forgotten to move units out of here. Um, well, the general out of here, specifically. How happy is this? Eight. God, this is super unhappy. That's still going up as well. Fuck me. Alright, I definitely can't get out of here with all my stuff, and I don't think I could even exempt it in time. I do really want to go, though. I'll definitely move the general. Um, just up there for now. You can get in there next turn, I guess. Um... I need to leave a couple units behind, I guess. This is it's tough though, because that army over there is really strong. I'm legitimately scared of fighting that with this army here. Like I got two more units here. We're just gonna make their way through. I recruited oops, uh unit in Omi and in Tamba. Right. Okay. Um I am gonna go though. I think uh, it's probably going to be fine, right? So it's currently on minus 5. It's going to be minus 6, though. I'm recruiting a unit. It's not going to get any worse than that. So it's going to be minus 6, then it's going to be minus 5 next turn still, because I'm recruiting a unit. Then I exempt it, recruit one more unit, it'll be 0 the turn after. So we should be okay here. It's, it's, it's not great, though, because I don't have a full stack here. Although we're only missing one unit if I put the general in there, which is not too bad. I've got two more of these guys on the way as well. You're gonna... Uh, I was gonna expand, but I guess since winter is here now, perhaps I'm not. You're gonna get some cheap experience. Nice, that's a level up as well. Good man. So you're gonna go put two points into sabotaging armies. Good. Right, Omi, we've... not got sorted right now, so I need to exempt this for a turn. Gotcha. That's a lot of money right there to exempt. I wonder if I could reach in a single turn from here. Probably not, judging from... No, definitely not. God, no roads is just lowering movement so much. What is that weird fucking... Can you just move up to there without having that weird... There you go, perfect. That's what I needed. Um, okay. Still got one unit in here, which we need to have. Still got several units in here, which we need to have. And that's otherwise all fine. Uh, what are my richest towns right now? Not that one. Kyoto, Ki, Omi, Setsu, and Iga. Okay, so we still have the right... Or Metsuki is in the right provinces, so that's all fine. Uh, you're probably being a bit useless here. Although, are you giving happiness to the town? Is that something you do? No. So you can get out of here and just make this place richer instead. And detain those nobeds over there. I don't have vision here anymore, so I actually won't know if the army is coming or not. So if I just... Well, I guess I can move the ninja out. That should be fine. Then, what else do we have? I think that's about it for now. Next turn we go on the offensive against them, take that out, and then either expand further or get peace with them again. 
Recently watched the series on Netflix, Mindhunter. I watched the first season of that, not the second one yet. Delves into the how the st FBI studies the modus operandi of serial killers, interviews them, and investigate how, why they became serial killers. Yeah, the first one was about, was it Ted Bundy or something? The really big guy? I can't remember if his name was Ted Bundy or not, but... Um, was it? No, I can't remember the name. Either way, yeah, I, I watched the first season, but that was a long time ago. And there's a second season now. Well, a long time ago. A while. Where is Waisugi, Atori, and Otomo? They're back in the Sengoku Jidai. Um, I started in on this convo at the wrong time. <laughs> yeah, you, you did. I'm sorry. Well, I'm not. Actually, it's not. I'm, I'm not fucking making conversation. I'm just reading it every once in a while. I'm leaving, leaving chats that are on devices. I want to know the name of the guy in season one now. The, the serial killer they were investigating. Or, well, he was already arrested at the time, but the guy was doing interviews. Oh my god! Okay. Oh, sun comes of age. Nice. Okay, so the scary army is coming towards my better army. Uh, sabotage your building and get 10% success chance. Okay, so they took a turn of attrition as well for going into winter, which is good. I'm kind of tempted to attack them in the field because if I do, then I don't have to worry about them anymore. Uh, because if I go here now and take Wakasa, they will most certainly turn back and take, like, attempt, like, attack me there. Oh, they got Nagata attendants in here as well, though. This army of theirs is going to be better than mine for sure. Same amount of units, but they've got bow attendants, they've got sword attendants, although it's only a few because you can see how much they've got, but they've got upgrades as well. And I, re I can't rely on my units to actually perform well here. I could get a couple units to reinforce, I guess. I could also maybe even try... I don't know if she's in range. No, she's not. Could, I, could you even do anything? I could distract them. I could seduce the sun in there, but the chance would be pretty small. So yeah, that's not very reliable stuff I can do there. Uh, my son. My son! You're gonna come over here. I could try and ambush them. That would not be a bad idea. But it, again, if I put my army here to try and ambush them, they're just gonna attack Wakasa, right? Which they can most certainly reach from here. I can almost guarantee that they can. Ah, uh, it's up for grabs right now. Ed something, yes. Ed Kemper. Ed Manson? Ed Kemper. I think it was Kemper, wasn't it? Yeah. I got I got the Ed part of it right, because I said Ted, right? <laughs> Close enough? Uh, Alright, so you guys are going to go this way. So this is minus five. Oh, actually, it's going to be fine if I just exempt it. I don't even have to recruit a unit, but I still will. Um, and then the general's going to go in there. Okay, so we take Wakasa. And then we have a defensive position when the battle takes place. Or I attack them in the field, we have the advantage of being the attacker. Which isn't much of an advantage, but still. If you guys can actually get into range, I will do it. I think you can. As long as you can still reach an attack, that should be fine. It'd be an extra three units, which is definitely valuable. I don't know if they will be in range. If they go there, then yes, but it doesn't. I don't know if they can actually reach that or not. Uh, was Omi mounting arrest this turn? It wasn't, right? No, so we're okay. We can actually unexempt this as well right now. Okay, so let's put you guys as f close as possible to there. Hope I don't block my own path. Yeah, that's not close enough at all. Is it? No, definitely not. However, perhaps if I do a slight bit of cheese. That might get me those extra two units in there. I'm not even sure if they're in range or not. There's no arrow that I can see, but... Um, I think I'm still going to do it. I think I have to, honestly. Unless I can sabotage them. Wait, the guy over here has got a much higher chance. 63. Because then I could 2v1 them. You know what? That's definitely worth trying. Damn. Do I try it again? With this shittier guy? 40%? I mean... It's worth it. Except I can't reach anymore, so never mind. Oh god, oh my god. If I do this, if I take this town now and I don't attack them this turn... Oh my god, it's all bow attendants as well. And then one sword attendant, three Naganata attendants, and a whole bunch of armor and melee attack. That, ar that army is going to be so much better than mine. 
They are somewhat wounded, but even so, that's not going to make a massive difference. Um, but yeah, if I take this... And then they turn back and attack with all that stuff. I'm just fucking gone, right? I can't, I can't handle that for sure. So I have to attack this if I decide to do this. Oh, what a fucking predicament we find ourselves in. Let's do this first of all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna commit to this. Kill off two bow attendants at least for free. I like that. And I will peacefully occupy that. Can I still reach this army here? I can if. Okay, so that might be worth doing if I sabotage them instead. I can't believe you can't reach. It clearly looks like you can, and then you can't. I don't want to take that chance. Still looks like you could, but... Oh, come on! Alright, fine. I guess I won't be attacking them right now. Um. Alright, well, I, ha I have to do this now. And I have to just kind of hope it works out alright. I can't even get any units to reinforce me. Unless these two units here are in the reinforcement range. There isn't... There's an arrow there, but not when I attack them. Let's find out. They look like they're close enough, but apparently they're not. I mean, how close is that? They're in reinforcement range of me. Of my army, but not of the enemy army, I guess. That's the, the kicker. Alright, well. I have a little bit of experience, but it's about equal to what they have. They have bow attendants to get to my bow levy. Uh, we have six Naganata attendants. That's the only thing we have. But then they've got three and a sword attendants as well. And they've got armor and... Melee attack on almost all their units, and then two generals against my two generals. So yeah, well, only one way to see if this works out. I hope they don't have... Okay, the, the map looks alright. They haven't got a gigantic forest or anything to hide in, or a mount, like a, a hill. As long as they sit back, like, that's the main thing. I actually want them to sit back now, because I want to lure forward their archers and take about one or two at a time. That's going to be the main thing here. If I can at least take out their range before we engage in melee so I can get a little a couple of hits off on their on their melee units as well that'd be good uh, I'm gonna sit back a little bit I mean if they want to come towards me I should I should at least be on here so that if they do attack me I have a downhill charge take as much of an advantage as I can um, I'm gonna put you guys spread out actually because if I put you all in the center we're just fucked, so let's do that. Lovely symmetry right there. I want them behind, but that's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna stay up here, because if they do come towards me, I'm gonna back up on one of these parts of this hill. Just funnel them through, basically. Um, and if they sit back, then we're just gonna go towards them. And it looks like they're gonna sit. Yep, sit back. Perfect. Alright, that's what we want. So we'll make our way over here somewhere. In fact, maybe even... Eh, no, that's fine. I want to make sure we attack the units on the f on the flanks first, though. Because I don't... Like, you know, if we bring these guys forward, they're just going to shoot uh, while they're inside of a forest. And we're not going to do any damage, and they're going to do loads of damage to me. Hey, Donkey, how are you liking Rise of Samurai? I mean... It's not like this is my first time playing it. It's it's okay. I've never really liked it too much, but this campaign is alright so far. Should have ambushed, but if I'd ambushed, they would have ignored my army and just ran back to Wakasa. I couldn't risk that. And also, it would not have been an easy auto resolve. <laughs> it would have barely made any difference on the auto resolve meter. Naked ambush, trimmed hog hedges and all. Surprise both by the attack and your nicely trimmed nuggets. Wow find it kind of more challenging. Oh yeah, it definitely is. I like knocking out the spams because you can just let the meat grinder proceed. Proceed. Oh boy, that extra cheese. Big Smoke would be proud. <laughs> extra cheese! Is Waisugi Kenjin 16? 15, I think. He likes drinking already. He's probably got an eye for the ladies too. Maybe because there's no Yari wall. Yeah, no Yari wall makes the game so much tougher. Very tough. Okay, so... Yeah, it looks like the range units are all up front. I'm probably going to move forward a little bit more. As long as I stay out of range, it's fine. And then we're going to use the archers to come, like to lure them forward. Or, sorry, the calf to lure them forward. That is the plan. Let's go up a little bit further. That should still be well out of their range, so that should be okay. 
I need to get a couple of units over here now, on the side of the hill here. As long as they make their way across in an appropriate manner. Maybe even get a fourth one. Yeah, I should be well out of range, so I think I'll be alright. Um, then I'm going to take all of you. Just put you over here-ish. God, these guys are so thick. But if I spread them out too much, then the 100 men are going to be too too thin. You're so thin. Also, we have two units here on the flank that I don't want. Why are you guys there? This one should be there. You should be there, and that one should be there. You little shits, how dare you. All right, how dare you. <laughs> um, let's move forward just a little bit more, and then we're gonna just start making them come towards us. I should start going normal speed now before I run out of time here. I'm gonna put you on the left flank. I'm gonna move you forward this way. No Ashigaru means no wall. Remember I'd buy fire? Yeah, I will. Okay, you're gonna be good over there. I probably even should leave a gap for this unit to sit in, to be honest, but... It's kind of awkward. Alright, I'm actually gonna start... You know what? No, you just stay here. Let's just use this one. I wanna start by getting these, like, two units forward. Or maybe even the three. As long as we don't get the ones over there, it's fine. I wanna have as much of an advantage as possible. I should run you guys a little bit further this way now. Don't spread out too much, because then we'll trigger those guys to come towards us. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, and then they've shifted their entire army. That's uh, inconvenient. Okay, they've got, we've got one unit, though. It's exactly what we want. Let's uh, walk away. Just walk away, man. Just walk away. Right. Still going to be kind of like a only a couple of that one unit, but still. Alright, give me some fire arrows, fire arrows. You're not even firing, what the fuck do you think you're doing? Fuck him up, boys. Wait, what? What are you doing? Just fire! Holy shit, how close do you have to be? Okay, we're messing up the first bow attendance, this is good. Took a little bit of casualty so far. Oh, don't shoot at my general, what the fuck do you think you're doing? It's not allowed. Still fire arrows coming in. Doing absolutely fucking not. Alright, don't route. Just, or don't, yeah, don't route. Just shatter instantly, please. Much more convenient. I need my general to be firing because the regular archers just don't do any fucking damage. Look at that. It was a full volley. Killed no one. Only the general does actual decent amounts of damage. But they also don't particularly fire very fast. There goes one arrow. Great. Didn't kill anyone. Come on, man. Fire! Look at this. 25 men remaining. How long? Were they on? How long ago? Were they on 28? Fucking ages ago. And then the general volley comes in. We finally kill a couple of dudes again. Arch the units in this game are so trash, dude. Look at that. Entire volley killed one guy. One more guy. Thanks. Don't just... At this point, they're not even going to rout. They're just going to shatter instantly. Because they haven't got any fucking men left. There we go. Alright, I'm going to stop firing. Alright, well, let's get the next one. This might take a while. I'm going to run out of fucking ammo over here, but... I guess that's still better than... Doing it the old-fashioned way. Okay, I might have grabbed the second one, but that would just be a bow levy. Yeah, that's alright. Um, let's run over here. Make sure. No, don't trick. Don't. No, 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 no. Come back. Come back. Both of you, and that's fine. Okay. We've got that unit to come back. That's possibly even better. Um. Sure. You're welcome to come here, sir. You guys still have fire arrows, so have at them, boys. Nice. Good first volley before they do any damage to me in return. General, why don't you come over here and start shooting as well? We gotta be careful that we don't trigger any more units to come towards us, but that's a bow levy, so that one will actually die a little bit quicker. Oh god, oh shit, we made units come towards us. That's not what I want. 
I mean, before I did, but not okay. We, we make him go back. That actually, kind of looks beautiful, doesn't it? That like the lines. Oh, you kind of ruined it now. Turn around, you little bastard. It's probably also the fact that they're on loose formation, which doesn't help. Okay, they've actually broken, which means they're going to come back unless we shatter them on these next volleys, but... That's not going to happen. Alright, well, that's... You know, we still did a lot of damage to them, but that's okay. Let's get the next one over. Bow attendants, please follow me. And hopefully you only get one. Nope, we got two. That's really bad. I need you to help, come help out over here. Oh, we got one to come back. No, 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 don't turn, don't turn around. Okay. Alright, let's get into a better position to start firing at the student here. No, 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 you little bastard, come back. I'm here, I'm here. Shoot at me. You little fucking shit. Really? Okay, they're coming. And that one is as well. And they are as well. Oof, we don't want free units to come towards us. That's really bad. I'm going to run back to make sure they don't all come. Uh, okay, well, let's just move forward and spread out a little bit more so we have everyone firing at least. Go over here. Okay, well, we should have most units firing. Any fire? Oh, we almost have fire arrows again, actually. Sooner than I expected it to be. Okay, well, you should be firing as well. Are you in range? Yeah, you'll definitely fire as well. Okay. You can use fire arrows still. We've got yours in 30 seconds. Our general is in great danger, my lord. Okay, please don't fire at my general. Did we even fire our fire as a student? I don't think we did. Can you at least lose that volley, please? Don't shoot at him either. Come, come now. There's no need for this. Although, to be fair, they're, used, they're wasting volleys, so that's okay. That one's gonna get fucking wrecked in a sec. Okay. Get some of them fire arrows off. Alright, now you guys are on. Oh, actually, you've still gone. Get them going, boys. Alright, so that actually, there's only two more range units after that. Yeah, okay. And we're definitely doing alright here. Quite the cheese. We shattered that one fully, as, that, and as well as that one. Now it's just this one over here. Which isn't gonna last long. Come on, can we make him route? A couple of good volleys in the back of them, please. Oh, killed one guy. Full-on volleys in the back of the unit. Killed one singular man. How sad is that? Okay, they've made their entire formation different now. I guess I'll mimic it. I need to get my army up here at some point, otherwise they're just going to charge me and I'm going to be completely out of position here. In fact, that's exactly what's happening right now. I need more units over here now. Okay, I think we actually- yeah, we have a full-on charge to coming now. Okay, like, right, let's get everyone just up here now. No, wait, no, they're not. Scrap- scrap that. We are full-on in range now, though. Okay, so we're gonna murder that unit now. Uh, fire arrows still a minute away. You guys never loosed yours, did you? Okay, I am hearing stuff charged, but... You got your fire arrows back again as well. Get them shot. Okay, I think we're just gonna have to put the line up front now. Here it comes. Le moment suprême. I don't know if I put my archers far enough back, but... I guess they're uh, pretty fucking fast. Let's pull you guys back a little bit. Let's pull the entire line back. Eh, no. Just just the uh, three at the front here. Okay, you go over here. You get in there. Jesus, couldn't even get a charge off. I definitely didn't actually charge anything. I just moved them forward, so I definitely missed out on a lot of charge bonuses here. Which is a bit unfortunate. Look at my fucking morale dwindling already. I love it. I absolutely love this fucking DLC. <laughs> God damn it, stop. Just stop. Get morale and be okay, please. Okay, we got some flanking going on. We got our generals being shot is what we got. Let's shoot their generals. Please shoot their generals. Please, can I fucking get shots on their generals now, if you wouldn't mind. Lost uh, our first unit over here in the middle already. I fucking hate this game, dude. Look at this. Our entire army's routing. We had, we had them completely where we wanted them. And our entire army is gone. Instantly. Morale is so shit in this. I can't believe it. We're actually legitimately gonna lose this. No chance. 
Not a fucking chance. Oh my god. I hate this game. So much. Look at them not even fucking bothered about me charging them in the back either. Not an actual unit. I hate it so much. I, I really do. This is why I never play Rise of the Samurai anymore. You have like these massive advantages and your units just can't just they route so quickly. I use rally and everything, just gone. Couldn't even kill couldn't even kill this one unit here. Not a single f I had three against their one. How did we not break that one unit? I can't believe it. Oh for fuck's sake. Oh god damn it. I hate this game so much, dude. I hate it so much. This is why I never play Rise of the Samurai. Yeah, they they get bonuses. They get morale bonuses, which is normally not a problem in regular Shogun 2 or Fall or in, yeah, Fall of the Samurai, but in Rise of the Samurai it's just such bullshit. Didn't that army had blacksmith buffs because they're OP? Yeah, but we we had we have the same armor buff. All they had is one melee attack on a couple of units. That's the only difference. We destroyed them in the ranged, and then they charged me melee. I have the melee advantage too, because I had more men in melee. They just had one melee attack on a couple of units, and you just get completely destroyed. This is why I hate Rise of the Samurai so much, honestly. Well, it was my daimyo who died, who luckily was supposed to die anyway. But yeah, now we're fucked, because this army is going to come and attack us. <sighs> this is literally the reason why I don't play this, this DLC. It's so bad. The morale of your own units on Legendary compared to the AI morale, it's just, it's not fun. Um, triple line formation is bad for... No, it's not good to flank, but it, if you try and flank the enemy, your, your line will route before your men get there. You need to have as thick of a line as possible. Because morale is so shit. Oh god, I hate this so much, I really do. It makes me so pissed off that this happens. I forget to use. I forgot to recruit these last time as well. God damn it! All right. Well, let's hope. If, let's hope our, our dude survives at least. Um. Oh, great. Wait. I guess I can recruit a unit. That should be all right. We're already doing that. We had a plus one happiness across the board. I guess from our daimyo, which is now gone. Are we having problems with morale or loyalty? No, we're still okay. This guy, of course, is a uh, lower level, so we have like. Oh, never mind. He's rank 2 as opposed to the Daimyo's rank 1, so he ought to have um, minus 1 from uh, the Legions of Grand Europe, but he doesn't for some reason. So uh, you, can be you can be my commissioner for finance. I can't even speak anymore. That's how pissed off I am right now. Use priest for extra morale and campaign movement range. Yeah, but I just, you know, I can't really recruit any priests yet, so. Not the most useful thing right now. Um, I didn't kill their general either, so I can't even bribe them or anything. Not that I had the money, but I could perhaps get it. God damn it. Fucking hate this. If only I had sabotaged them. If only I had succeeded on the sabotage, this would have been completely different. Alright, well, let's watch the rest of the army die now, I guess. Not much we can do about it. These cheerleaders, yeah, that might not be a bad idea. But you can see why I hate this DLC, because I was enjoying the campaign up to that point. Like, we had every advantage there, and we just got completely wrecked. Like, it wasn't even, like, a close battle or anything. Your men just rout so quickly. Like, Para said, I'm confused, and that's exactly how I always feel when I play this DLC. A minor setback. Well, if he kills my... If he attacks me right now, it's no longer... Okay, well, he's not attacking me. Thank fuck for that. Now it's a minor setback. Because the daimyo is going to die anyway of old age, so I didn't care too much about that. Oh shit. The Emperor has abdicated, my lord. The throne now belongs to Antoku, our own flesh and blood, and key to future Tyra hege hege he hegemony? That's how you pronounce it, right? Prince Mo Mokihito, embittered at the denial of his throne, is already rallying support to overthrow him. We must prepare ourselves for the struggle. Plus 2% bonus to clan wide tax rate. But everyone hates me for it. Great. All right, well, let's get, no, what? Get this army back in here, I guess. Can we please reach? Good. Um, and then, yeah, you were supposed to be with this army. He's coming towards Kyoto, I guess. 
That's okay with me. That's actually going to be a happy next turn. That's okay. Um, I could possibly even try and sabotage his army and just run to a cheese and make it disappear. It should be easier to do so now. 66%? Eh. Um, I could also just kill it. Which isn't a bad idea. Also, I never repaired this castle. Not very useful. Also, I should have demolished the school. I don't know what I was doing last time I took this. I guess I was too focused on this battle. That was coming. I'd like to assass or sabotage them as well so I can attack that and just take a cheese in soon. Uh, okay, right. So let's have a look at happiness first. This place is exempted. Doesn't need to be any more. At least not right now, this particular one turn. Uh, I, don't, I think I'm going to spend all my money on sabotage, so let's try that first. Let's do you here. God damn it. Well, this one's more important. That's four 50 plus percentages in a row. Unbelievable. <laughs> god damn this fucking game right now, dude. Oh my god. Alright, that's going to be fine next turn. I really just, I'm so frustrated this game sometimes. Um, what do I even do? Like, if I attack them, they'll run away. If I attack them, they'll probably run away. I have an awesome Shogun 2 challenge for you, mate. Is it called Play Rise of the Samurai on Legendary Difficulty and be stuck with terrible morale in your units? Is that the challenge name? Because if it isn't, it ought to be. Um, okay, well, let's just build an army again, I suppose. Um, do we have any spare happiness yet? Nope. And Well, that one definitely not. Uh, okay, well, we're going to keep recruiting them. And then this has currently got four archers. I probably should merge them. Quality advice in this particular case. And then these guys might want to get merged as well. How fast are they replenishing? Nine per turn, eight turns? Yeah, fuck it, I'll merge those two, I guess. Got more coming anyway. And then we'll recruit a couple of units all over the place. All over the fucking shop. Put him in Kyoto for now. Oh, we got a level three dude. That's at least lots of money for me. Um... Actually, yeah, exam tax and re... There we go, 3,203 bucks per turn. Great stuff. Well, since we failed all of our sabotage, we can actually afford another one of those. And I can recruit one more unit, which I guess I will. I don't even want to recruit those guys. They're just so bad. It's not even worth it. Well, I guess I'll merge these as well. All right. Um... This is really shit. If I had sabotaged, like, either one would have been great. So I could have chased the other one without being worried about taking this, like, lo losing Guacasa. If I would sabotaged them, I could have taken this army out and then just ran over to a cheese and took it. But now I have to deal with this, or sit back in Wakasa and wait for them to run this way. Um, I'm gonna... See, if I chase them, they'll just take Wakasa and I'm back to square one, right? Like, I, I can't actually do that. Unbelievable. All the failures that are happening right now. Ridiculous. I need to cool down a little bit though. It's pissing me off. Uh, Alright, well, let's just end the turn. Sorry for yesterday's spamming. Also, your army doesn't get experience after you push victory button. They do, though. You still got the kills, so you still get experience. Only warrior general challenge, so you can choose whatever you want, but you can only get warrior upgrades for your generals. Ugh. That's just terrible. Okay, I've still got a chance for a sabotage, and then being able to take a cheese the next turn. Okay, I don't want to get that right now. I can get my farms upgraded, which is good. Um, unit replenishment or the 5% movement range. I think we're going to go for unit replenishment first. Made a whole load of units. Okay. I mean, honestly, if you were to attack me here, I'd probably... F I feel pretty confident that we could win anyway, but... You guys are going to go in there as well. I'll go for Kyoto again. Alright, can we please succeed here? If 
Thank you. All right, so now we're pretty much good to go. Let's do this one from the side, because they're right up on the road as well. God, that's your third failure in a row. On a 50-plus percent chance. It's unbelievable, this guy. All right. How happy is this place? Probably super unhappy. Seven. Okay, so if I move out of here, I'm going to have some real issues here as well. Definitely going to keep recruiting stuff here. i got two units coming, but they're actually going to move straight through. This is unhappy still. This is actually plus one happiness now, because I think I recruited an extra unit for the army that's going to go here. Where that's gathering up around here. I need, it, I need two more archers now as well. Okay, well let's... Um, I guess we can recruit another one here, that's fine. Although I need to recruit these guys. Probably more important than a couple of archers right now. Um, yeah. Well, I can only, can I afford two? Nope, I'm just shy. Well, that's unfortunate, in which case I will not get either one and just get the archers instead. All right, let's still attack them. They'll run away, which is not too bad. Probably ought to absorb this as well, to be honest. Yeah. Alright. And then next turn we take a cheese in and they'll just disappear. Oh, no, wait, they own Kaga as well. Well, I guess I hope I can sabotage them one more time after taking a cheese in. Otherwise, we're have, we'll have some serious problems. Um, we have two, two relatively successful... Well, relatively good ninjas. Just one of them that fails every single time. But we have a pretty decent chance. Plus, I guess we can bring this army over. If I absolutely needed to, but I don't really trust myself to win that with this horrible morale. Okay, I'm probably going to have to keep these guys behind as well. And even then, it's going to be problematic to keep this place happy. But we'll have to make do. Uh, let's end turn, I guess. I can recruit another unit. Do I need to, though? Um, See, so yeah, I need... I need two more archers, but I'm already recruiting both of those, right? So, one more being recruited here, one more being recruited here. That's five. I need one more after that. Unless this place is getting up here, which it isn't. But I'll just send that one over and recruit another melee one here. Alright. Let's do it. Have you considered an XCOM 2 War of the Chosen campaign? No, I don't like XCOM 2 that much. XCOM 1 was better in my opinion. The cooldown thing in XCOM 2 was bullshit, and if you use like a mod to get rid of it, then people were like, well, that's the whole point of XCOM. Is to... So, no. Plus, again, if I play anything other than Total War, my viewers are even worse than they are now, which they are surprisingly low today again. Oh my fucking god. I guess I kind of forgot about the F Fujiwara, didn't I? Or whatever, the f no, the, f the Fukushima? The something. I think I might have enough units to deal with that, but I don't know for sure. Oh yeah, we should have sabotaged the building so I had an extra 10% chance of success. Uh, wait, that's actually going down already. Okay, so we can just exempt this and we're not going to be in any problem. In fact, we can move those two units onwards as well. Right, well, let's first sabotage this army again. Please, game. Please! Work with me. Oh, and I can't reach. You're fucking kidding me right now. <sighs> How many fucking failures have we had in the last three turns? This is absolutely ridiculous. So I can't even do this thing anymore of going to take their towns. Oh my god. Shame on you, game. Alright, this better be enough to deal with this shit. Guess I'll take another two units out again. Um, to have them come in as reinforcements instead. Although they could just attack them in the field, but that's whatever. Where are you, Kitabatake? Right, that's the people who are about to attack me. Doesn't look like a particularly good army, at, at least. Right, I'm gonna... I'm gonna assume that since I can't get through here, they also can't get through my ninja. I'm gonna assume that the game is playing a fair game today, which it definitely isn't. I'm gonna just fucking... Just keep... I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna ignore that army. And assume... That they can't actually get to Wakasa right now due to my ninja being in the way. I'm sure it's not actually true, but I'm still gonna I'm gonna rely on that being the case. All right, so this would be my archery range, which means I probably would want my other building here because the foot samurai I want armor and melee attack on. Like I, they're good range units, but their my main purpose will be melee. So I will build them in a 
in Kaga instead. So I'm actually going to get rid of this one here. Although I can get bullet tendons for now, which is not a bad idea. Costs twice the price as well. It's not like we're short on cash though, so I guess that's okay. Um, more like fuck you, Shima. Am I right? You are right, sir. That's why it's a challenge. Yeah, but the thing about challenges is that some people try and come up with things that are just straight up annoying, and that's not really a challenge. It's just annoying. A challenge should still be fun, right? It should be something that's interesting and entertaining. Just having generals. You know, it would still be a normal campaign. It would just be, a, it would basically just be a normal campaign, except my generals are slightly better at fighting and slightly worse at commanding. Like the campaign doesn't change one bit, so it just, it would just be like, well, not boring necessarily, but it would just be kind of dull. Cause it's just a normal campaign. There's no restrictions and any like on units or whatever. So it's just not something I would ever do simply for that reason. Um, all right, I saw 207, which is the highest. Go for that. Takahashi, you pay me some money. I will listen to your words for a time. Could do with some money, my, my dude. Chance I give to you. Give me a thousand bucks? No. Five fifty. Four fifty. All right, final one. Five hundred. Then How about that. No. Four fifty. Sure. Can make it happen. Is that it? The Daisuke. Sure. Trade straight for the mountain. 320, I mean, that's probably not worth it. 180. Eh, I'd get it back pretty rapidly. Are they about to die, though? They're aboard the Fujiwara, which are all the way over here. What the fuck? Which probably means the... Oh, no, that's... Yeah, this is the Minamato guys. Aren't doing too well, I was going to say. But no, they're doing all right. Um. Okay. I will pay you... No, you're gonna die soon. Fuck it, never mind. No point trading with you. Come on, Donkey, don't tell us about annoying challenges. You are the man who did siege and stuff only. Yeah, but that's fun. That's a fun challenge because it's a massive restriction. I'm talking about that's the, I'm talking about the difference between those two kinds of challenges, is that some of them are just blatantly like boring and not fun, annoying, like level up your generals in a very specific way where they become better fighters. Like that's just a normal campaign. That's not fun. It's just annoying. And then siege units or something, that's com that completely changes the entire campaign. It makes you do something that you would otherwise never do. That's fun. That's what I mean. It's a completely different thing. Anyway, uh, this is going to be super unhappy as well, so I'm sure I can't even get out of here, but I'm still going to do it. Um, and I I don't know if I want to keep that. Uh, that's the second tier, right? Yeah, Master Bowman. I don't need any resources for that, at least, which is nice. I do want to upgrade this place in terms of economy as well, but I guess I want to get some better units. So let's just get this for now. And I guess I'll keep this to get a couple of bow attendants, although I'm not planning on keeping those. But I think for the moment it's okay. Um, I also am not recruiting any of you, am I? So let's keep doing that and then we'll spend our money. Okay, so I'm going to keep going and take Kaga. If this place rebels... I guess I don't need everything to take. No, I just need a couple of units to take Kaga. Let's just take a bunch of stuff. Um, like that. Again, I'm relying on the fact that they shouldn't be able to reach Wakasa because my ninja's in the way. Happened to me plenty of times that an agent's literally blocking my path, so I'm going to assume that I can make it happen too. In fact, I'm going to put this one there as well. I'll just be like, hey, you can't fucking get through here, alright? I can't even do anything. I can't even target him, so... Let's hope it works out. Guess we'll find out after this battle. Actually, no, they might move before. I don't even know. Doesn't matter. Achizen is going to be okay when the castle's re repaired, so that'll be fine. I bet you these dickheads are going to declare war on me soon as well. Just to make me even more pissed off. Okay, you're getting happier, so we can actually get this unit out of here too. But putting you here might just risk... Eh, you're hidden. Should be fine. And we have no extra happiness coming in here, so that's okay. Zero happiness there. Does this need to be exempted right now? It does not, so that was last turn. Well, Kassa is going to rebel, though. But it's going to be totally fine if I keep it exempted. Okay. Fun and challenging instead of torture and challenging. Exactly. Some people just want to watch the world burn. Do you think you can win a legendary campaign only recruiting Yarashigar the whole game? Sure. Uh, sounds like a regular Oda campaign. Yeah, exactly. 
Um, <clears throat> keep doing what you're doing. You're interested in the challenge is what makes them very amazing to watch. Thank you, my dude. Appreciate the, the feedback. Um, okay, I think you should just end the turn here. There's not much else I can do. Honestly, I like the idea that someone said earlier, recruit um, monks for morale. I think that's honestly something I should have done from the beginning. Just an extra one morale would make a huge difference, I imagine. So I think that's actually a pretty good tip for the future as well. If I ever play another Rise of the Samurai campaign, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. There go to Kito Take, so I guess they're going first. Okay, here we go. Right, well that should be a pretty straightforward, relatively simple battle. It's just about whether they can move or not. That's the main thing, and I think they're coming... No, that's not their mon, never mind. No, I, thought they, I thought they were coming straight after, but no, not quite. Alright, so we got the daimyo, the new daimyo, and his brother. Brother! Really like your videos, mate? I'm just spitting out nonsense, I'm a little drunk. Hey, don't worry, man, I'm not like, what, if I if I sound offensive, of, of, offensive? No, not offensive. If I sound annoyed at you or something, I, I, I'm not at all. I'm just, you know, I'm just saying it how it is, I guess. I am not drunk. Oh god, I ought to be on cough syrup. It's snowing. Uh, okay, well we got some reinforcements coming in, but I'm not going to rely on those too much. I have seven range units, so I'm just going to do the same thing I did before. I don't know where they're going to come from, so let's just plop them all over the place. Uh, I do want to have my archers up front, yeah, as I had last time. Or I didn't, and then I decided that I wanted that. But I want it! God, trying to fit my fucking army in here is an absolute nightmare as well. Probably why you don't really try and fit them in here. You just don't fit in, man. Oh yeah, I guess I could put them there. But then they become even more like... Please, shoot my men in the fucking face or literally anywhere and you'll do damage. Because the units are bunched up together. Alright. Let's see where they come from first of all, I guess. Okay, that's a pretty large... They, they're always set up kind of sideways. Probably because they're set up like with their unit up against... Wait, is that the entire army? I think it might be. The army's not that large. Okay. Um, yeah, they're probably trying to uh, just like be as close to my to me as possible. Uh, okay, I don't necessarily want to get them killed, but... Okay, my, my reinforcements... Wait, are they coming from behind? Oh, they are. Straight up behind. Look at this fucking morale. They're shaking before the battle even started. Absolute madness. <laughs> Oh my god, I hate this. Thank you, I hate it. Okay, let's make a line. I mean, we're outnumbering them so much here that this really ought not to be a problem, but you never know. Okay, and I've got one more unit coming from here. Let's just get them over that way. I'll run them. Like, if they were to send a general over, you'd think that Naganata Levy should have a great time 1v1 against a general, except in, in you know, in regular Shogun 2, Yari Ashigaru already have a bit of trouble because morale. Even though, you know, man to man, they fucking destroy them. Oh, fucking hell. General's bodyguard is here getting wrecked. Um, but in, in Rise of the Samurai, with morale being even lower, it's even more of a problem. Like, you just can't rely on that being a good thing to do. Uh, okay, we're, we're about to all start firing, so let's just get fire arrows going here. Maybe kill off the general before shit happens. Really ought to do... A little bit more but more damage than this. Ooh, that was good volley. Okay, our infantry is still getting into position. I think it's time to start running them up, actually. Actually... Okay, let's just charge the general. And the unit from here is just gonna fucking make its way over here somehow. I also really ought to just kind of charge them right now. Because... Like, these units here are not going to be able to do jack shit, because they're way too far to the left. Like, they can't actually cl get across here. Uh, I need to do that. As well. Okay, fire at units. Actually, that's not units at the back. Fire at them, please. Oh, what the fuck's this? 2v1 them, boys. Like, why have they got more morale than I do, right? Like, why? Because it's legendary difficulty, that's why. But still, also, where the fuck was that unit? Where did that come from? Where did they go? Where did they come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Why are you running up this way? 
I have an extra... Oh no, I have seven archers, that's why. Okay, generals. Maybe try and get you guys over here just for the morale. Look at this, 2v1. We really ought not to lose this, right? But I... Look at this fucking guy, charging in the back of a unit, losing morale. Ah! Uh, I'm so scared, boss! Okay, we're, run, we're running through this, though. I mean, I can only imagine that, that that would be what's happening. In fact, the morale here is surprisingly high, I've got to admit. Oh, we did it! We won against that unit. Surprised you and me. Or maybe just me. Um, give me some inspiration. Actually, you guys have got fire as well. Shoot that general down. Don't let him get away! My lord. A glorious a victory. victory. But I just told you specifically to attack him. Why the fuck did you just fire at something else? That's a direct order, son. Alright, well, we did it. That was actually much easier than I anticipated it would be. I don't know why that one went so well. I mean, we had a huge numerical advantage, but even so. I guess the choke point kind of did it. Choke him. Did we kill that unit? I think I think mostly did actually. Let's get you guys over here. I might actually be able to get some kills. You know what? Fuck all of that nonsense. Let's go over here. Fuck all y'all. Yep, you've wiped it out. Good. We'll kill them first. You go kill these boys. Should be able to finish off whatever gets away here. About too much trouble. Get him, boys. That's my unit. Okay, I think we got most of the stuff here. I'm gonna say that's good enough. Alright. Grumpiness is the key to victory. Yeah, apparently it is. I like it how, despite grumpiness, Donkey won. Oh, well, that's why he said grumpiness is the key to victory. Um, can you change the name of the stream to the Command Cowards? <laughs> the Command Cowards? Oh, as in, I'm, I'm commanding cowards, I get you mean. Uh, <laughs> I I won't, but uh, that's not bad. If I could rename units, I would rename literally every single one of them. Coward 1, oh, he can still move, but he doesn't reach anything. Fantastic, so I still get to wipe him out. I would call them all Coward 1, Coward 2, Coward 3, Coward 4, etc. Distraction attempt, you tried to fucking distract me, you little bitch. Uh, ooh, eliminate a general model. Did we just mur- no, there's still both of them surviving, okay. Plus one- oh wow, that would've been- that would've been great last battle. Well, the battle before last. The Mirror of Amaterasu. Honestly, if we had that, I think we may have just won that battle before. Okay, you're gonna exempt- be exempted for now. We're gonna take Kaga. That's all I want to take for the moment as well. 69 men lost, the perfect amount, thank you. And we did Proof of Might. Really, we just assassinated a general in there, okay. I didn't realize there was one in there. Okay, and now we have our... We don't want that. Actually, I want to recruit the Shirabyoshi first. Oh, I already got rid of the building earlier, so I can't. Um, and I don't want... This, or do I? I guess I want both the recruitment buildings. I mostly want to upgrade the town. I think for... I mean, mostly I just want to go for Futsum right now, right? But I need the other building for that. Unless I'm still going to get Naganata Attendants and or Naganata Warrior Monks. Do I get plus one armor for all Naganata units? I think I do. For all Naganata units, I guess that is pretty pretty clear in the wording there. Alright, well maybe I will keep it. Uh, I make an encampment first and then we just get fully upgraded stuff. I'm gonna upgrade this immediately as well. So do I go for free armor, free melee attack, or one armor, five melee attack? I think I'm gonna go for free and free to be honest. Um, and then the encampment building. You can either get one armor, six accuracy, or free. Oh my god, free melee attack. Yeah, definitely free melee attack as opposed to the one armor. That's just a because it, it, this one it's a it's a one for one trade, right? Um, but I, I want the higher armor, yeah, for sure. Especially if I'm gonna get an extra free from the other thing. Yeah, makes sense. That's like a no choice. All right, get the upgrades, my dude. Got our Jun Satsushi ranked up as well. Good, good. Make me some fucking money. Alright, things are turning around a little bit here. Thank fuck for that. I have two units in here who don't really want to be here. I don't want to be here, sir. Let's recruit something else and get these guys going. See, so yeah, the army disappeared. That was the whole plan, of course. 
And I'm gonna finish off these boys here as well. This army is basically what I want it to be. I've got a whole bunch of random nonsense all over the place and units, but they're not too far away from where I want them to be, so I guess it's all okay. Okay, I'm moving out without that one archer, of course. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. There you go. That's the one. Finish them off. See you later. There's one level up for my daimyo. Daimyo. One point in each, which feels disgusting to do. Oh, another boyhood companion. Apparently everyone's got a boyhood companion. Uh, this makes auto a little bit easier. Yeah, I mean, you generally don't get assassinated, but... Still better than that, probably. Yeah, it's about equal. Right, I'll attack you if I can reach you, which I definitely can't. What? Do we, is that all of our movement? Did I have another unit or something that moved somewhat? Oh, right. Those two, I guess. Well, it doesn't get me much further, so I'm, I guess I'm fine with this. And then you're going to go somewhere as well. Somewhere over the rainbow. Tango is unhappy again for the one bazillionth time. How many fucking units have I got in here? Ridiculous. Absolute fucking madhouse. Let's put uh, you in there. I'll get you up this way. Then I'm going to upgrade the town here when I can, which I can't do right now. Good, good. Guess I'll get the harbor, more trade. Always good. I think we're gonna we're now gonna get in a small period of peace. Not quite, you know, the period of peace we had in the fall of the summer I campaign that made me want to cancel it. But the kind of period of peace where I can just relax a little bit, start building an actual army of good units. It doesn't have to be, you know, the best kind of stuff we can immediately get. Although we can get full upgrades, but it doesn't have to be the best units. So I'll happily use take I'll happily take Naganata attendant into the late game. And any bow warrior monks and stuff I can get as well. But later on we'll be recruiting for the samurai for the most part. And I guess bow attendants are fine as well for the moment. But yeah, I'll wait a little bit until I get all the uh, upgrades here. And get the town upgraded so I can get an encampment. Here I can just get an encampment right away. Donkey is the Joker. Hey, do you want to see a magic trick? I'm going to make this army disappear. Donkey captures enemies lost from in town. Ta-da! <laughs> Did you ever make a video for the Battle of Sakigahara? I can't find that on your channel. Was that one of the historical battles? I did most of them. But not all. Hello, perfect Sunday material. Hello, t -Lock. Welcome to the stream, my dude. You've written history in pencil on the inside of my skull. <laughs> Navy levies towards victory. Put an army next to Koi that they can't be trusted. Oh boy, don't say that to me now. <laughs> I finally, finally got a period of peace here. Oh, they're indifferent towards me. I think their armies are mostly on the west side, though, because that's where they're currently taking town. So I'm going to assume... Oh, and they're allies to my allies, so they won't attack me right now, I don't think. Well, they could. Do you want to trade yet? Might be able to come to agreement. You want a free 20 last time, that's free 30. You're upping your terms. It's ridiculous. Uh, 201. Is that the highest we can find? It is. And they're uh, Tyra clan, so I am definitely tempted. I'm here to listen. And Good. to seek a worthy outcome to our discussion. Good, a worthy outcome. I, I, me too, man. That's why I'm here. Ooh. Oh, this will be a very worthy outcome, I think. Mucho worthy, yo. As they definitely say somewhere in Asia. Um, Can you pay me 1750 No, you can't. Can you pay me 1650 How about... I still like the idea that you're going there. Like, some diplomat is going there. And then he's putting an offer on the table. Like... Will you pay me 150 bucks for trade? Will you will you offer us 150 bucks? Uh, we will trade with you. And he's like, yeah, sure. Sounds like a good deal. And then your diplomat's like, oh, w wait a second. I meant 500. Yeah, I mean that's still fine as well. No, no, no. I meant a thousand. One thousand koku. Yeah, I suppose I could still do that. No, no. I meant two thousand. No, I can't do two thousand. Oh, no, no. Okay. Well, obviously I'm in 1500. Eh, 59 is a bit high. Eh, what about 1250? Yeah, 1250 I could do. Well. If you could do 1250, could you also do 1400? Nah, that's too high for me. <laughs> like, what kind of fucking... The, it's just a diplomat haggling with himself, basically. Like, he's not waiting for counter-offers. He's just, oh, okay, I guess I'll try something higher or something lower. It makes no sense, but... It's just, you know, that's the way it works. 
It's always funny to me though. He's a, he's a, he's a very funny. I just played the Rise of the Samurai campaign and suddenly the Koi attacked me and the other Tyra clan didn't join me. Yeah, if, if they were to attack me, I will not pull them into the war. But yeah, I uh, I will have to move something over there. I just want to fucking go on the offensive right now and take these guys out before my vassal does. Which, by the way, I'm surprised these guys are still loyal to me. What's your name again? The Watanabe. They don't even like me anymore. They're unfriendly at this point. Uh, they're peaceful... And they're steadfast. So I guess they are, just by virtue of that, they're loyal. They've got a full stack here and then some. And I'm sure it's all, yeah, it's definitely all trash stuff. But even so, that shit's scary. Honestly, I didn't know you can get money for trade agreements until I started watching your vids. Yeah, I always do it. I uh, I like I don't like the selling tr um, selling military access thing that people do. I think it's cheesy. But um, yeah, selling trade I think is fair because you both get something out of it. Uh, do I want to upgrade this? I get more experience. The Naganata thing, I need more. I need the the, the Sioux building for that, the monk building. <sighs> Naganata warrior monks. How many of those are there? I don't, it doesn't say, of course, but they have four armor. I don't think that's less than these guys, is it? It's the same. So, yeah, they're definitely the better unit. Yeah, they are just straight up an upgrade, it seems. Um, yeah, it makes me kind of want to not get Naganata Attendant and just get for, go for Naganata Warrior Monks. But then I need an extra building here. I need, like, free building slots. Uh, I'll definitely start expanding this right now. Yeah, there's plenty of shit to build there before we start building our units. I guess I'll, I'll, I'll still probably build some units, recruit some units anyway. Just to make sure we keep our armies... Um, somewhat decent, otherwise we're going to be outmatched by trash like we've been before. Hello all, been a long time fan, or been a long time since I'd last jumped on one of your streams, might be only be hanging around for a bit. Well, welcome for now. Doesn't make a lot of sense that a clan that supports your family declares war on you, like they support your cause but they want you dead at the same time. It certainly doesn't, but that's Shogun 2 for you, or Total War in general. Um, did I exempt both of these this turn? I think I did, didn't I? Oh, I did, didn't I? That one definitely uh, cheese in for sure as well, because we just took it. Alright, let's fucking end the turn then. Fucking end me turn already. Let's just hope they don't, don't declare war me for a couple of turns. Just let me convert these recently acquired provinces. Okay, it didn't declare one me just yet, so... Oh, no, what are you doing? He's trying to distract my one unit. If she succeeds, I can live with that. Making almost four grand a turn now, so we're definitely going to be able to build up our provinces pretty rapidly. Enemy Shirob Yoshi actually... Oh, that's why she disappeared. Nice. She only went for this one guy. That's actually quite unlucky of her. But, in fairness, I've been plenty unlucky recently. In those kinds of terms. Alright. Can unexempt you for a little bit. Unexempt you for... Ever? Well, at least for now. Uh, you're gonna go in here just to get a little bit of information around here. That wasn't much, but there it is. We're gonna definitely build an encampment first. Uh, and I want to upgrade this town as well. So I get an extra building slot as well. This is gonna actually have to get reduced to the last level. I don't want the repression, I want replen or re uh, recruitment capacity, so I need the muster field. And same there. Omi is minus two. If I move, or if I recruit a single unit and then put that unit from there and there. This isn't getting any happier, this has already actually got all of the units out of here. Um, I have two more units here. Which are going to be going into this army here. Oh, should have them for Kyoto. Well, uh, Omi isn't going to. Oh, yeah, it's going to rebel this turn. So I should recruit a unit for now. And pop this guy back in here. Pop tunnel. And then it'll be zero next turn. That's good. We're going to keep going on the offensive. Ooh, I might actually be able to reach, depending on what's in there. Oof, that is a large army. I think I'd rather they don't recruit any more stuff there. So let's actually besiege them. 
I should keep a general in there so I replenish as well. Um, Oh, minus 2% the upkeep cost. Oh, that's from his thing now. Yeah, self center gives him the bonus attack. Okay, yeah, let's we'll siege it with you. I could also just fight it. It's just a town, right? Oh, it is <laughs> for one more turn. Um, yeah, if I siege him out, they're not going to build that either, so I, I, sh I should just fight it then. My army coming in as main, like, f completely as reinforcements is a bit unfortunate. I also got full on improved morale for the entire army. One bullet attendant unit, six archers against my six. Uh, this should another be another pretty straightforward, simple battle, but it's it's not going to turn out that way, unfortunately. Well, let's do it anyway. Nice to see that your bad luck on those percentage chances rubbing off on the AI. Yeah, it looks like it. I support your cost, so I'll murder you and inherit your cost for 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 you. <laughs> yep. Uh, Yuki Mura, everything checks out here. Sign on the dotted line, and you'll have yourself a new kingdom. <laughs> a new, nice tactic, tactic that I use is sabotaging the castle gates so the enemy can't recruit new units. Oh, I never thought about that. That's actually something you could do as well. Oh, for fuck's sake. I was literally going to say, no, I don't want fog, and then I misclick. All right, well, I guess we're doing this with fog. They have a similar amount of archers, but obviously my tactic would mean I just kill their archers up before they do anything in return. So fog is not particularly helpful. And we already <laughs> kill shit so fucking slowly as well. God damn it. It's about time, boys. Right. Um, just start moving stuff up for now. I'll make a proper line in a second. Is that it? I guess it is. Alright. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Alright, make ourselves a bit of a line. And then I'm just gonna for the moment just do this. My uh it looks like my Naganata attendants get pretty decently spread out anyway. Oh there's two right next to each other there, so let's plop this one over here somewhere. that one there and then we got more spread spread him love sorry that was first time I've seen this type of siege map on this stream um, I think we uh, we may have fought this one yesterday but I don't remember you might be right you might be right sir god fog why did I do this why did I misclick too, too enthusiastic the mistakes are real. Well, we have to move forward a little bit more. I really want to make sure the archers come towards me. I'm going to have to do some more closer spreading. Alright, and then we'll put... Uh, wait, which one is my faction leader currently? My daimyo. I think it's the more experienced guy, right? It's got to be. Munamori or Shiga here? I have no fucking clue. It doesn't matter that much. Let's just put you here and I'll have the you lure stuff forward. Come at me, fiends. I honestly will take a fairly even battle as well. I just want to get the archers out of the way so we can infantry it up. Infantry de marine. I mean, I need to go a little bit more forward to be honest. A bit too far away right now. Oh shit, there's a unit right there coming already. Oh, that's Naganata Levy. Um. Ah, and two bow units, okay. Uh, they fucked off, and so have they. Alright, well, never mind all that. These units coming forward is kind of rough. Nothing more like that, but even then it's just kind of unfortunate. Okay, we got two archers coming now. Possibly three, if I got that one. Are you seriously going towards this guy right now? I don't know what's going on. But it looks like currently I've got a 3v3, or 3v6, which is fine by me. Um, let's move you off again. Although, to be fair, 
my units are in such a weird formation that only half my units are going to be firing here. Okay, let's lose a volley like such. And then I'll run up a little bit. If they're, fi if they're planning on firing at me, I think. Or my generals, I mean. Alright, then we go fire arrows and then I should really fuck up these units around here. They're kind of inside of each other too. Lovely. Could also try and just kill them with the uh, cav charging them, but there's two bow units behind them, which is a bit risky. Alright, how are we doing here? Not very well. They really are far- just what the hell do you think you're doing, sir? Okay. Oh, now they're shooting at them. Perfect. Get in there. Just kill them. Kill them, dead boys. We're not losing too much here either, and we're yeah, we're definitely doing more to them. Okay, we took a volley there. Didn't seem to do too much though. Archers are also coming towards us now though, but if we can just route this one real quick, kill half of it already. Probably gonna break any second now. There you go, broken. He's gonna shatter as well. I don't care. I need to get Our the fuck out of here. I uh, don't really want to take any more shots. They didn't, unfortunately, didn't shatter altogether. Didn't lose much of my cav there though. If anything at all, to be honest. After the initial fight, anyway. They're fucking off backwards, except for that one. Uh, yeah, I'm just not in range at all with my units here. Okay, broke one unit there, though. And the other one's not doing too hot. If I charge in there, the bow attendants are gonna come towards me. Maybe I should just fucking back off for a bit. Just back off, man! I'm tempted to get in there, but there's a bow attendant behind it that's looking very eager to shoot at my men. Are we still shooting at that unit? We really ought to be. That one's broken as well, not shattered, so it's gonna come back soonish. Soonish. Okay, let's just get the generals. Oh fuck, these guys have come back as well. Seriously. I wanna get both. You know what? Ignore that unit, just get in here. This is way more important right now. Oh, there you go. We shattered them by just charging them. Or by uh, shooting at them. Move the archers up some more. These are the last two archer units now, besides the ones that are broken and coming back from routing here. So we'll get in here, do a bunch of damage, just get the fuck out of there again. Before they arrive. Alright, I'm not willing to stick around too long against the Naganata boys. We actually lost quite a few men there. And we're being shot, there's another ar Oh, the generals of course are shooting at me. Yep, and they'll do quite a bit of damage, so we gotta be careful of those. Killed 30 men of them, and, well, we killed a third of both the units, basically. That's alright. He's alright. I need to get my line up as well, just in case they decide to start charging me all of a sudden. Um, still not gonna have to levy there, which means I can't really charge them until they fucked off. Oh, I think they're actually just sort of coming towards me now. Or, well, these were some units. It's gonna be painful, but everyone fire at him, please. Let's kill that general. Kill him dead. Kill the bow levy. And I think we're just gonna send a line in, to be honest, at this point. Just start trucking up over here somewhere. That's not. Nope. Something like that will do. Alright, we got in there again. That's the bow levy, so they'll take even more damage and route even sooner. Another two Naganatas coming towards us though, so we gotta be careful. Plus I really don't wanna lose another general here, so let's get you guys out of there now and call it a day. Done some decent damage against them. Possibly time to move the archers back a little bit. Unless we're gonna be able to get there before they arrive. Nope, don't get stuck in there now. Don't you do it now. Alright. I gotta spread this further, but it's not really gonna happen. Okay, we're in melee here. Nope, don't fucking do that. They're actually walking, they're running away from me. The fuck do you think you're doing? Uh, no, hang back, because that's actually, we only have two units here. Okay, we got the general gone already. And that bow attendant unit's fucked. Let's just not, let's not, let's not do this. Because honestly, if it's set up correctly here, I can take the town and just make them, just capture it. I don't have to fight everything. We're already capturing it right now. So unless they, yeah, they're gonna respond to that. That's all right. Still gonna move you guys back though. Morale will still be an issue. Let's get our general. Oh, God damn it! The loose formation makes me miss the actual 
attack, which is really inconvenient. The uh, number is going up here because we're basically fighting on top of it now. I'm pretty sure all of you are in melee, but rapid advance anyway. Get the extra charge bonus if you weren't yet. They're going off the point, so I guess I am fully capturing it now. So whatever happens in 40 seconds, I will win. Let's make sure morale stays high. Get some more uh, bonuses here. One here as well, why not? Fire arrows. Don't know if we're actually getting anything, but sure. Give it the old try. Oh, right. All of my archers kind of moved into melee. Didn't mean to do that. Oopsie. Oopsie daisy. 16 seconds until we win, although the timer usually goes for another 10 seconds or so after that. Alright, this looked like a pretty clean victory. Uh, I don't know what you're doing, but don't do that. I don't know what you're doing, but uh, don't do it. Four seconds remaining. Don't figure they're going to master out before it happens, so that's probably going to work out pretty well for us. Zero seconds remaining. Now it's just a matter of waiting for it to actually run out. Stuff is actually mass riding. There we go. Very long final second, nice. Very well played. Oh my god, it's Johnny Pasta. How are you doing, dude? Been a long time. Close your eyes, rotate once, and take the one you reach first. <laughs> um, take the second. Wait, what are we talking about here? I don't even know. Solid advice every time. Will you be my counselor? Are you talking about to Lucas? Okay. Um, watching the battle, I just thought of a challenge. I call it real life general. Challenge basically it requires you to command the battle as if you're on the ground. Camera angle should. Oh god. <laughs> That'd be horrible. <laughs> that would be an interesting challenge though. But I imagine it would get boring and annoying very quickly as well. All right, another place that's 100% Fujiwara. Great stuff. Don't want to school. Get the shit out of here. Okay, cool. So we got uh, Wakasa is unhappy and about to rebel. We'll exempt that. And then Omi, I think we had sorted, right? So we're recruiting unit and that's going away. Yeah, so that should be fine. And then you guys are just going to go here, but yeah, make, make your way over there. We'll catch up with these boys. Well, they've got to sit in easy for a while to keep it happy, so I guess that's okay. Um... Slightly less uh, wealthy than Iga, so it's actually still, yeah, it's not not as wealthy, which means that we're not going to be putting our Junsatsushi in there instead. You said 3v6, and I was like, 3v's, oh, meh, he busy. <laughs> Just not paying attention. Um, all right. We aren't recruiting any of the Naganata boys. I guess that's okay, because we're going to start recruiting them here very soon. Well, here very soon. Um, as I said, I probably will already start recruiting them with minor bonuses. I just want to start getting good army so I can protect myself while we get the rest of the shit. We've met the Kiza Minamoto. Uh, oh, and we also met the Kamakura Minamoto, the other major one. Um... Does any of you, do any of you want to trade? First of all, Kibi. Satisfactorily pay me some money though. You must, but my no. Heart tells me not to listen with hope. Well, don't listen with hope then. I never fucking told you to do so. Uh, okay, well, they're not willing to pay me much. Let's see if anyone else is willing to pay me money. Or if they want to trade at all, which is unlikely. Also, I need to check my... Um, so then. My, what have you what, like my, uh, like strength thingy I'm, I'm like whether I'm gonna round the fight soon or not because that would be a big problem as well. I don't really want to necessarily take any more towns. Like I want to attack these guys, but they might even want to peace out with me, so that would be alright with me too. I want to appear as strong as possible, so I'm not likely to take a clear war on. Anyway, Kiwi, I guess it's gonna be you. You said no to a hundred bucks as well, didn't you? But my heart tells me that your Fifty. May not yeah, all right. Hey, yeah, whatever, dude. You guys want to trade yet, or you just want money from me still? I don't have the money yet, you ask, I guess. The other ones were all a no. No, you were a yes as well. 50 bucks from you? Nope. Alright, don't listen to an old woman prattle then! Alright. Sounds good. Okay, so let's see if they want to peace out now. Because I don't necessarily want to expand any further this way for now. Kita Batake. Okay, did not expect that. They're at war with the Moto, Minamoto as well, which maybe means they've got another army attacking, like... Well, they've, they've actually only got two towns remaining now, the Kisuminamoto all the way over here already. 
So all they've got are these two towns and they don't want to peace out with me. What the fuck are you doing? Oh well. That's your mistake. Okay, so we're building the buildings that we want to build. Good stuff. Let's keep going. Listen to what the Minamoto have to say in diplomacy. Oh, let me do that in a second. Follow the samurai when Kappa. Shut the fuck up, Chico, you little bastard. I'll see you hang for this. I'll have you, Long Shanks. Alright. Enough about that. I wouldn't be surprised if the Kizumi Minamoto declare war on me soon as well. I just want I just want some peace. Just let a man rest for a moment. Catch my breath. Oh. Who the fuck is that? Alright. Made it through unscathed. Uh, the Masuda are dead. That's the people over there who were, didn't want to trade with me unless I paid the money. And they paid the ultimate price, right? What? I will listen, but my Minamoto heart aches to see your blood spill. Oh my god, it's unique! Ah, same for them. Have I met any? Yeah, I met you as well. No, that's just a normal one. Alright. So I guess the Minamoto are the only ones who get something unique. What about you? Nope. Alright, does anyone want to trade? Daisuke. Well, you're the guys who want money from me. And it's just going up and up. You don't want to trade. You don't want to trade. You? Don't want to... Well, maybe. I didn't. 100 bucks. See, that's a lot more reasonable. Kono, where are you? You're over here, and you're not at war with anyone, so you're likely to be a reliable trade partner. I'll pay you half what you asked for. I mean, 60% of what you asked for. I mean, 70% of what you asked for. No, no, 80%. There you go. Good man. And then that's it. Then an assassin over the wall. Have you changed your mind yet about that piece? You appear to be almost dead. I don't know if you realize this, sir. Minus six. Ugh, I could actually almost just keep this place happy and take those final two towns. In fact, I can reach one right now. I guess I just hope the Kizo don't declare war on me, because my army is going to get thinned out a little bit here. Um, if I recruit a unit... Oh, I've got my general there as well, though, so I, he's going to get out of here. So then I have minus seven. Recent events is the Mirror of the Amaterasu or something? What is this plus one from recent events? What is this plus one you speak of? Um... I don't know, but it's unreliable is what it is. I'm going to build a... Ooh, this actually gets me uh, morale and experience for all warrior monk recruits. That doesn't help me. Do I get any experience or level ups for... Monomi? Or no, not Monomi, the other one. Is that the one I checked already? I think it is. That one then. Uh, no, I don't get any level ups for the, the Su. That's what it is. So I'm not going to build that right now. I think I am going to build a... Buddhist Sanctuary though, because having a Sioux would be useful. But I also don't really want to, so let's not. Not right now. Daddy long legs, fight me bish, giraffe legs for dinner, shanks, shanks, shank you. What is going on right now? Are you, are you okay, parody bear? Do you, do we need, do you need medical help? Should I send someone over or? I'm worried for your safety, sir. Um, right, so I need to keep behind... If I'm recruiting a unit, and then that's equaling each other out for now, I need to leave two units behind. Let's take an archer as well. And you, not you. Not you. You disgust me. Wait, what? How's that not enough? Did I not just put two units in there? Oh no, yeah, it is fine. Yeah, because I'm recruiting one. Never mind, sorry, I'm an idiot. Alright, let's go take a worry. Don't be in the way now. Good. Storimunazu! Alright, so now we're bordering the Kizo Minamoto. I really hope he doesn't want to declare war on me right now. I don't know what kind of army that is, but it's probably quite scary. Go check it out for me. 
<gasps> what? Yeah, that's pretty scary. Foot Samurai as well as Sword Attendants. Oh boy. That is not an army I want to face anytime soon, if you wouldn't mind. So let's uh, stay friendly, shall we? How about some trade through land? An alliance? Oh! Wow! Oh! <laughs> Tempting! Uh, I mean, it's a lot of money, but what if I give you some... Um, I haven't got any kits to give you. What about some military access with like 10 turns instead of all that money? I'll give you like a thousand bucks or something. Is that, is that cool of you? Let's just see if you would take... Yeah, you would actually do that without money. Yeah, you would, but I don't want to. I don't want to do infinite. I'll do twenty. Well, twenty turns is also just basically a death sentence. I'm just like saying, come over into my lands and kill me. All right, 150 bucks and ten turns of military access. Um. Oh, you're already aboard the Kitabatake. You're right, okay. See, I'm gonna f I'm gonna finish up the Kitabatake for you. You don't have to worry about that. How about some trade as well? No? That's just a no-go for you. Can you stop trading with these people? No? What about just one of them? The other one? No. No, no breaking of trade. Fair enough. What about your alliances? Any of those? Perhaps acceptable. Might be able to. And yeah, I don't care enough. All right. Yeah, I think I'll take an alliance. I mean, this is probably just, you know, them going to be declaring war on me soon anyway, but let's try and at least stay friendly. We're hostile already. Minus 150. Alliance of an enemy clan. Mm. You're not at war of my Yoshima Taira, though. What, what does that mean? Different allegiance, clans are respected, territorial expansion. Yeah. Well, whatever. Let's repair that. That can stay. Though I don't want to build a market right now, though. I'm going to spend this money on buildings over yonder. Um, I mean, it depends on what I want to recruit, to be honest. I think I'm going to start getting some, I'm going to have some bow attendants out, even without all the upgrades. Probably still worth it. And then Foot Samurai. A foot Samurai, I'd rather recruit there. But this is probably, yeah, honestly, I want the Bow Warrior Monks here, but I need to monk building here as well, plus the encampment. So there's lots of shit I would need to recruit those. So I think for the moment, let's just get bow attendants. God, horrible re recruitments. Let's upgrade those so I get faster recruitments. That one too, once I can afford it. And then I'll start recruiting Naganata attendants here as well, with better upgrades. You're gonna go here. But actually, you're going here. Fantastic. Who's exempted currently? Wakasa. How about you aren't exempted? Almost happy. One more unit will do it here. Let's do it. You are also one unit away from actually being happy, but for now you have to be exempted. And Ize needs to get exempted. I already knew that, but I just didn't do it. And that recent event thing, if that goes away, I don't know what it is, but if that goes away, we actually have a problem. I don't think it's the Mirror of Amaterasu doing it. I don't know what's doing it. There is no plus one happiness right now. But it's very possible it is going to go away and we are going to just be fucked immediately. But we'll see. Mr. Smaranki, I rough you. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, do I have any extra happiness yet? No. These places are taking so long to convert. It's ridiculous. Here I have an extra one happiness that I, can, I don't need. So let's get this archer over towards Awari. Because I do know I lost an archer. So we'll send it over. Hey there, Rover. Send it over. I should probably actually just... Oh, no, I can't do... Oh, no, I can't. Oh, tunnel. Okay. Um. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Let's just fucking go, I guess. Please don't rebel. Uh, I'm making four grand a turn at least, so that's good. Watch the keys out as declare war me literally immediately. I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. It's like some Sun Tzu warfare right now, allying with your supposed enemy. Yep. Just for now, temporary allies. I know he. I hope he knows that too. Like basically, what I'm hoping that is what he's gonna do is that he's gonna move his armies the other way because he maybe wants to attack somewhere else. 
But, because he's got several enemies, I think they're just all in the east right now. So I'm hoping he just moves his armies east. And then if he does declare war on me, his armies won't be anywhere near me. But, I don't know. We'll see. Either way, I'm going to take out the Fujiwara, or whatever it was. Um, and then that will mean that they shouldn't need to go through my land anymore. Uh, okay, no rebellion. Good, good. Jinsatsushi ranked up. Defeat an army of battle. I think I might be able to do that. Alright, Junsatsushi, are you level 2 or level 3? That's level 3, am I right? It is, sure is good. Give me some fucking cash, boy. Uh, unexempt this and exempt it. Or exempted and unexempt it. Another 150 bucks or so right there. Good stuff. You are going to go all the way through to Awari. Okay, so this place can now be unexempt. Oh, it's... Oh, recent events. Okay, well, hopefully that will still soon be fine. And then this place is actually one happiness. What? Oh, right, because I've got an extra plus one from recent events. I still don't know what it's coming from, but I'm not going to complain, I'll tell you what. I'll keep recruiting units here because I'm sure I'll need them soon. I have currently three open slots here, so that's perfect. Well, at least three open. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, seventeen. So that is indeed three. Perfect. Perfecto. We have one extra happiness here that we don't need. I, I don't know. What to do with you? Whoa, what's love got to do? Got to do with you? I got one extra. No, I don't actually have one extra here. I do have one extra here now. So let's um get you this way too. Let's look a regular dude because I need more units for happiness. Let's send him over here towards me now because I'm sure I'm gonna have to go in there soon anyway. Let's go take this place from these fiends. Farewell, Kita Batake. Alright, not gonna make a vassal. And there we go. We've got our aggressive Ardor. Fantastic. I wanna go back in here though if I can. I can't. Well now I made now I have two places that are unhappy. Great, well done. Uh we gained Brave. Nice more morale from my, my dudes. I thought you already had that. Is that someone else who already had Brave? Oh no, you got the oh right, so we have plus two morale now. That's actually really gonna be quite good. Really quite good. Yeah, I'm just gonna have two unhappy towns, whatever. Clan estate. Do I want to convert this place faster? I suppose it's not a bad idea. I also have silk here. Good. Clean. Silk. Uh, it's actually pretty good money. I should upgrade that, to be fair. Right, we want to get an encampment here first as well. And... I want to make this a muster field so I can recruit units faster here as well. Okay, right, how is the happiness? Pretty poor, good. Exactly the way I like it. You're actually finally legitimate. No, you're not, right, because it's that plus one, damn. Damn it. Damn, damn, damn it. Damn it all to hell. Um, fat man with his kids and dog came in through the morning fog. Where are they heading? To the apple tree with Randy. Are you fucking? Are you do? Are you is that? Is, are you doing a fucking Family Guy quote right now? She takes a bite. Two times, three times. I can't remember the actual whole thing, but saliva working. That's that's what it was. Um. How much until... Oh, right, yes, good point. How much until we're on the boat? Okay, we're still a little bit... We're, st we're still good for now. Uh, I don't actually want to expand anymore at all. I'm totally... Well, except for this place. This is a sore, an eyesore. Really hate this. But besides that, I don't want to expand any further. I'm, I'm happy here of an ally. I'm ha relatively happy here with people who are my... My um, allegiance, so that's good. I'm happy here because obviously we have our recruitment provinces, so that's exactly what I want. Um, and I'm... Happy here if these guys fuck off. Let's put my ninja in Awari itself. I think it might be worth actually upgrading this um, to a stronghold just for the fortified defenses. In fact, I might want to get that in other places too. Having walls will make a huge difference because then my terrible army won't rout anymore. 
and that'll probably be worth it to be honest but we'll see you get more trade you want to trade you do want to trade great let's trade you're at war with the, both the Minamoto boys. Wait, I was training with you before. You're in the in the bottom right somewhere. What in tarnation, my dude? Um, keep them silkworms happy. What makes a silkworm happy? I don't know. Can someone help Parody Bear? He's clearly lost his mind. Oh, sorry. I don't want to. I don't want to give you 18 bucks. I want to take. I want to take it. Uh, yep, sounds good. Are they in the bottom right? Yeah, they are. That's what I meant. Ah, oh, you want to trade now? You finally come around. Can I get some money from you instead? You can, I can indeed. 100 bucks. Speak! I try to make sense. And the keys of Minamoto, who don't want... Oh, might be able to come to an agreement now. You are a fool. Dude, we're allies. <laughs> this is... what? <laughs> Speak to me with a little bit more respect. I give you an extra one turn. Unacceptable. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, how does that go from might be able to come to an agreement? I offer them more. Like, fuck you. Never will I do this. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll pay them money. It makes us better... have better relations. So I'll pay them money for sure. Did I say yes to that? No. My Minamoto heart aches. As I have... just broken up it's so sad oh. so used to asking them for money I just put it in there as demand 400 bucks yeah that sounds good to me uh, I will not join your disgusting wars my dude all right it's gonna take a little bit before I get that money back but it'll be worth it I'm also making almost six grand right now whoop teeth ah king do the machinations of Pear's mind are an enigma. They definitely are. Do the low challenge, low tax challenge. I will probably do that at some point. I don't think it'd be too bad. But I might be overestimating. I mean, in, in, in the late game, it'd be insane income. Just because the amount of growth you've gone through at that point. Oh my god, you better not be coming towards me, my dude. <sighs> we are a hundred percent at peace. This is not gonna last. Oh, <laughs> well, I did say it's not gonna last. We're not declared war on just yet, but our, there goes our alliance. So, okay, three towns are unhappy. What besides these two? Okay, Ize. Yeah, that's fine. We're unexempted. We're unexempted for now. Recruit another man. Uh, I can definitely two put wait. Yeah, I can definitely put two units in here, and I got one more coming from there. Is that gonna be enough? Oh my god, it's not actually. Fine, group one more, and then it will be enough. And I get you in there, you in there, and then that in there, and that's actually basically well minus two units, but we get the garrison as well. Minus two units. This is a full stack now. These guys are done. I'm actually going to get them down immediately, because I need as many good units down there as I can possibly get. Because I'm much more scared of, of this army here than I have of anything else right now. Foot's armor will absolutely destroy me. Even if their army isn't full, like, I will get fucked. I will get fucked. I swear to cry. Why did I keep this? Ah, fuck it. Let's keep it for a little bit. It actually does speed things up pretty hard, pretty fast. Plus two from the first level, that's actually not bad at all. Maybe I've underestimated that building a little bit. I just like more money more than anything else. I need to upgrade that. Hey, hold on, I need to upgrade this first. What about the other one though? That's still going, I need to upgrade this too. Can I afford both? I think I can't. Um, I think this is more important and then I can actually get this one as well. So this is gonna be plus three melee attacks. That's way better than plus one armor. Then we upgrade this next turn, and then we actually can recruit the best upgraded units. We still need obviously better units, but the best upgrades we can get. And that'll be fucking great, son. Alright, I 
have we got any spare units? Yes, we do. We actually have one unit here that doesn't need to be here anymore. Let's get him the fuck out of here. Let's go that way. Well, Kassa needs to be there. You are actually going to be happy next turn. Fantastic. Tamba, you're going to have one extra unit. Let's get him over here. Let's get him moving, boys. Keep him coming. I can get rid of this building now. Get the fuck out of here, boy. Well, technically, I could still recruit units from there, which is not a bad idea at all. I also am recruiting nothing, so let's recruit something instead. Is that? Yeah, that's the bow attendant. I could even just recruit the bow levy because I get the extra accuracy now, to be honest. In fact... Oh, no, that's ammunition I'm looking at. I was like, what the fuck? The accuracy is exactly the same. How is that possible? Well, that's ammunition, 38. Which is a lot of ammunition, by the way. Uh, this place also needs everyone to be here. In fact, this place is going to be fucking unhappy in a second. You're... Fucking kidding me! The muster field doesn't give any extra happiness either. Are you having a fucking giggle? That's okay, the recruitment capacity is going to go up so I can recruit units to keep the place happy. It'll be okay. Because there's a little thing. It's going to be okay. That needs to be exempted. And then you're going to be okay, right? Did I have this under control? Recruiting a singular unit? Yes. Okay. It's already exempted anyway. Then. Can I get some trade? I certainly can't. Well then, can I get an intern? Please. Definitely can. Dude, are you sure you're alright? What the hell? I happen to have multiple mulberry trees in my yard. I will provide services if it pleases my king. Make me a mulberry lord and I will not fail you. Yeah, I don't think he's alright. I think he's got some serious mental health issues. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why they, why they went back, but they did. He has mulberry trees, Alex. I mean, come on. He's fine, clearly. Clearly not having a mental breakdown. Lost trade with the Kiwi. Is it on account of being dead? It is. How sad. Okay, we've mastered the extra replenishment. Possibly kind of poor timing on that now, to be honest. Plus one defense. Nine turns to get an extra one defense. Oh boy! How very nice! Uh, we upgrade this thing, we can actually get our cav upgraded already. We don't get... I mean, I think I'd still get them with armor and melee attack, honestly. Because the charge bonus is as nice as it is. There's only like 20 cav guys, so I need them to survive as long as possible. Um, I'm not that bothered about Mounted Samurai. Banzai... I don't have any units that can use Banzai, I think. Six turns for that. Fuck me. This gives me more money, but so slowly... Plan of Unhappiness is not a bad idea. And it also unlocks the Buddhist Temple, which I'm sure I'll need for some units, so let's get that, I guess. Let's get down to business. Okay, can I upgrade this? I can. Fantastic. So in five turns, we can get the best units possibly available. And then we gotta upgrade that one, and then the encampment there, and then we can get the best units there, or best upgrades there as well. It'll be fucking great, so I'll tell you. You're going in there. You're going to come all the way down, my dude. We actually have no pure unhappiness right now, but this place is actually getting unhappy now. It's getting more unhappy as well. Luckily, recruiting one extra unit right now will help. Should I just recruit a bow levy? I mean, I could still use it to replace something, so I guess, yeah. So what's the challenge? There's no challenge right now. This is just a Rise of the Samurai campaign. It's okay to play non-challenges sometimes, especially when you're playing Rise of the Samurai, which is a fucking challenge in and of itself on account of how difficult it is. Uh, I don't have to be exempted here anymore, nor in Mino. That's five grand of lovely income for me. I'm gonna get one more happiness here as well, so we can get more units out of here. Plus, we gotta level up on the Monomi. I don't know when, it, when that happened, but... Definitely should have leveled them up already. Let's get one unit out of here, send them towards Mino as well. Tamba is not currently getting any happiness, nor are you, nor are you. Okay. Okay. I misunderstood. Well, make sure it doesn't happen again, Jason Sweat. Or you'll be sweating of the nerves because you're going to get killed by someone. I'll send one of my my famed monomy after to massively fail you. 
Phil trying to assassinate you. Um, okay, right. We can actually recruit another Naginata attendance unit. Let's do it. Don't do it. Don't you do it, my dude. Don't declare war on me just yet. We are friendly, are we not? Oof, the Koida is doing quite well in the west there. They make the full round, they might just declare war on me. On me. Nice. That's gonna be more money, I think. Level 3? Oui. Give me that fucking cash, son. Unexempt and exempt. Or exempt and unexempt, another 200 bucks. They're not quite as good as they are in uh, in other games, but... Alright, this is actually a fucking fort. I want to see that. That'll be great defenses, I'm sure. So this is going to be a bushy training school then, right? Um, well, it kind of depends, right? This is where I want to get my... Yeah, because I want to get my foot samurai here. More than the Naginata attendance. I think once I can recruit foot, foot samurai here, I'm going to get rid of this building altogether and just get my foot samurai here. Although I want to get my... Naganata warrior monks here too. Um, unless I don't. I mean, I do if I want to have like more different kinds of armies. But if I do that, I'll need to make a Buddhist temple building as well, for which I need Way of Chi, which is the final thing here, which can take fucking ages to get. So I will never be able to do that. So it, I have to basically choose. Well, I can still get Naganata Attendant, I just can't get Naganata Warrior Monk, so I can keep the building, I suppose. <sighs> Isn't there a shrine again upgrade to get plus free morale in the encampment that gives it? Um, we can get plus free morale, or we can get plus morale from this thing, but we don't we don't get a uh, encampment that gives morale, and that, even if I did, I wouldn't make it. Can we carry this man inside? No, we can't, actually. Leave him out here, then, to rot. Uh, we already did that, right? Yes, we did. You are gonna make your way... Well, one of you is gonna make your way to Mino. Which I'll have to exempt again, as well as Ize, I'm sure. Yep, still getting unhappy as well, so I'll keep creating units here for a little bit longer. Uh, no happiness coming in there. No there. None there. None there. And none there, okay. Great. That's exactly what I was looking for, is a bunch of fucking nothings. I can't afford that. In that case, I think I'm going to cancel this building. Or this recruitment, because we're okay here for now. Well, it's still going worse, but... I'd rather get this done. I want to get that done as well, but that's four turns, so I'm going to do that next turn, and we'll end up on the same turn anyway. No rush. I have recruited two units here. This place is... Okay, it's getting happier now, which means I can get this guy out of here. Plus, winter is coming. That's not a joke. It just means that we're going to get... Um, an extra plus one happiness for that one turn, which will sort it out as well. Sort it out. We can recruit two per turn here. Well, two per two turns here as well now. Alright. I'm not recruiting anything there right now, but yeah. Just get the buildings in order. Our armies are here are starting to look a little bit better when all these units come trickling in as well. As long as I'm safe against this, I'm, I feel like I'm pretty okay. And I'm not going to necessarily get rid of any units either. I'll probably just make a trash army somewhere in case I get attacked and I need to get an army somewhere quickly. I honestly think it might be worth upgrading this though for the stronghold. And then probably Setsu as well just in case. Also, that's a fucking... Oh, that's a stronghold actually. It looks huge compared to this, doesn't it? This is a fort, which is even higher than a stronghold. Doesn't look that much bigger than the other one, to be honest. Um, and then yeah, upgrade Awari probably as well. And maybe even Mino, but eh, we'll see. Just the, the the borders right now, since we're not expanding anytime soon. These guys still being loyal as well. It's gonna fuck me over later on, to be honest. Once we actually trigger Realm Divide, and they'll betray me eventually. My uh, trading partner over there is getting fucked by the uh, dark blue Minamoto. Not the Kizo, but the other one. Fuck. 
Fucking hell, Koida is running through towns, but they're bordering my ally on all fronts now. So I don't know what they're gonna keep, what they're gonna do. Chiba is the ally, or the person I'm trading with in the bottom right, but they're gonna die soon. Although they just took away uh, Achigo. So I guess they're just losing towns in the back, but taking them in the front. I'll have you in the front. Shidop Yoshi ranked up, trade is to the Chiba as well as the Tatara. The Tatara are dead, yes they are. Had a daughter be born, fantastic, and a unit be recruited. Fantastico. Um, okay, god, there's so much stuff now. Stuff. Also, I should carry, oh, don't have to. Carry that unit inside. And him as well, could have carried inside earlier. Get you there. I'm tempted to send that one over too, but I'm not sure if happiness will be okay here. Yeah, if I recruit more units, it'll be fine. All right, first I want to build this up to a hunting lodge. So then in four turns, we'll have the fully, like the full upgraded units here as well. Foot Samurai, I'm not going to recruit here. Um, like this one, I might legitimately switch over so I can get Bow Warrior Monks here. But again, I don't know. It's kind of annoying because I would have to build this up. Well, it's already being upgraded, but I'd have to get the monastery done as well, and then it'll take a while before I can actually get the bow warrior monks anyway. Do I get more recruitment capacity? I don't. What about that one? Yeah, I got one more if I level it up fully, but actually, what do I need for that? Bushido, which is probably the last one here, isn't it? Yep. So that's not going to happen either. All right. Okay. Sounds good, so I'm not going to get a barracks then, is what I'm being told here. Um, kind of tempted to upgrade this, because then in four turns I can get Foot Samurai, even though they're Archer Foot Samurai. You know what? That's not even a bad idea. I could just have two lines of Foot Samurai, one that's got more armor, and one that's got more ranged, and then just have... That's not a bad idea. I think I like that, actually. Don't know if I... Well, yeah, I do want to do it right now, because it'll all be done in four turns. Get some more of these boys for now, though. For now. Could even get more of them as well right now, but let's just have a look at happiness and stuff before I start spending money in other places. Um, agent success chance, chance of escape. Fine, I honestly can't, I don't care enough right now to figure out exactly what I'm supposed to do with her. Uh, all right, so how are we doing on happiness? I already exempted these places, which was last turn, so nothing needs to be exempted right now. You're actually happy because of the amount of units I've been running in here. Good, good. Do we have any spare happiness here? Nope. Well, we have one, but again, the recent event's going to go away. Nope. I'm just looking at when that's fading. So we got one coming in from here. So we'll send you this way towards Mino. Tango, nope, and Wakasa is a yes. That's the final one. Unfortunately, we've still got two units left over here anyway. It's crazy. Sanjo, that's messed up. I guess any upgrade over Levy is already good before you get Warrior Monks. Yeah, definitely. You just use Foot Sunrise Archers instead of Monks. They have higher accuracy and reload rate anyway. Yeah, I know they're better Archers, but the thing is, like, then every army will literally just be, like, a General and maybe a couple of Cav, but then the rest is just going to be Foot Samurai. And then I'll recruit a couple here and a couple here, like, half here, half there, and then, like, just have two lines, the front line with extra armor and the other line with extra range, or extra, um, ra yeah, ranged capability. It's not a bad idea. Anyway, uh, I lost trade, so can I trade with someone else? I can, but these people are probably not going to trade with me. You? Oh, okay, that's unexpected. My Minamoto heart aches. My Minamoto heart. I'll take 50 bucks from you, my dude. Actually, is that enough? Hold on, I should have checked this beforehand, how much I needed exactly. Oh no, it's, it's enough. Fantastic. Alright. Cool. Uh, let's continue. Wait, you're still streaming? Yeah, it's only 10.30. I normally go until around 11, 11.30. What did I miss then? Uh, just we're kind of at a period of peace now. Although this lady's about to fuck my day up, I'm sure. Also, I'm not. I'm a little bit worried about that army there. 
I don't know what she, did she just get killed immediately or did she succeed? What she, what would she be doing anyway? Distracting my army, I guess. I need to figure out who those people are and if they're gonna come and attack me or not. Enemy, sh yeah, she got a wow. That's the second one in a row where they tried to do something and they immediately got murdered for it. Great. Ooh, family juice. Plus 25% wealth generated across all provinces for a thousand bucks for six turns. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be worth it, right? Yeah. That's making me a thousand bucks per turn, so that's five grand. Right there. Um So yeah, you're still unhappy. You're still unhappy. I'll get a couple more units, I guess. How much money am I making? Yeah, that's definitely worth recruiting a couple of dudes for. Keeping that up every turn. Right, so who how, who the fuck are you? Takahashi. They're the ones who own that entire island there. You are currently not at war of anyone. Oh boy. <laughs> That's telling me something, that. That's telling me that they are incredibly friendly people who will never declare war on me. Alright. Um, I'm gonna run you back this way, because I actually legitimately might need to get my forces together here. I've got more units on the way. It's just a matter of when they'll land, right? I'm not gonna recruit into short attendants, because they're just fucking trash, son. Foot Samurai, yes, yeah, so in four turns I can get my fully upgraded Foot Samurai as well. And then these ones, like, I guess I can upgrade this for an extra experience, but I'm not that fussed about that. I'd rather just spend it on someone else, like this market. Or something. That is 24%. It's still going up by 6% a turn. It's not bad, to be honest. I do want to get rid of this as well, or as soon as still. <clears throat> Monomi, right. Let's rank you up. Rank you up and do it again. Okay. I actually need my ninjas to be in a better location right now. I have one here, one there. I thought I had three though. Hold on. Silk spinner. When the fuck did I upgrade that? I feel like that was ages ago. This is minus one. Did you... No, you're not gonna rebel though. Okay, where are my ninjas? I do have three. Ah, right here. Okay. I need you to come up this way. Because if they're gonna land, hopefully they'll land around here. I can just get on my army and attack him. Although I have no idea what is on there. It's a level four general, so I, have to, I imagine it's gonna be a pretty decent army. Lots of experience, but um, at least if they attack one of these places, it is a defendable place. Just gotta get my army together. But yeah, I might need to sabotage them for a little bit, so I'll get another ninja over there, so I have two. Um, more trade is not bad. It's also a pretty cheap building to build, actually. I can. Oh, I've got an open building slot here. Right, I got rid of that ages ago. I just never built anything else here. Smart. Um, yeah, let's build a barter exchange. That's obviously all my money. What am I recruiting right now? Two units there. Okay, I'm fully recruiting, so that's fine. I've got no extra happiness coming here. I've got one more happiness coming here, so let's get another unit towards this way. Again, I might actually need it soon. And Omi is also getting rid of its final unit. Oh, perfect. We'll send you... I'll send you this way because you're close. Can we carry him inside? Don't care enough to even try right now. Um, although that's an archer, is it not? Yes. And I have too many archers here already, really. So let's actually get, um, well, I'll put one of you in here. Because I did have another one on the, on the way, this one, but I sent it back. Fuck you, devil! Um, I guess I could have seven archers, that's fine. Seven of them, seven archers, four of these, two generals. Yeah, that seems alright. Um... Blacksmith units are way stronger with XP. What do you mean? There's no... There's no XP encampment building, dude. There's three types of... Um, oh, encampment buildings. One gives armor. One gives... Uh, ranged. What do you call it? Accuracy. And one gives melee attack. That's it. There's no... There's no experience. And you can't build them elsewhere because you're talking about blacksmith units so you have to either choose between the extra experience or the blacksmith unless you're just saying that they get better with experience but yeah i mean every <laughs> every unit does <laughs> it's pretty standard stuff um anyway let's keep trucking along i guess i think we're basically just gonna have to wait and see what happens didn't mean to do that 
Mickey means if they get experience through battle. Yeah, I guess so. But yeah, that's just like obvious statements. We carry him inside now? No, we'll fucking leave him out then. In Rise of the Samurai, monks start with decent armor. Yeah, the warrior monks, uh, Naginata warrior monks start with the same armor. Oof, okay, there you go. I was afraid of that, but luckily I've got a decent force here now. Do I ask my allies to join me? I think I will, actually. Yeah, they joined. Got another army incoming, though, and I guess they're, yep, also going to declare war on me. And they landed immediately, and I actually can't really get my army there. Oh, for f what the fuck, dude? Are you fucking serious? Right? Oh no, I shouldn't have- Oh god, I didn't realize they were- Oh, fuck me. This entire campaign just ended, I think. Jesus Christ. Why don't you join as well? Just fucking everyone at the same time, please. Alright. Um. Yep, we lost our lives with them, unfortunately. And they probably didn't even ask them to join in, so they didn't even... They're still allied to each other, probably. Uh, yep, they definitely are. Great. Fucking Koida. Okay. Well, I gotta get an army here, I guess. So we have a naval invasion here, and of course I didn't spot them. So I, I can't even get my army here, because I'll, I'll have to run through an ambush, essentially. So I have to deal with it with whatever is in here, which is not terrible... No, you know what? I'll get one. I'll get one unit killed. I think some trash Naginata levy or something. Run him into the ambush. Do, 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 do. Just on my way. Oh no! Oh my god! It's foot samurai and everything. Uh, I mean, it's lots of experience, but overall, it could be better. It could be worse. All right. So now at least I can see them. Can I still get into my town? Oof! I might be able to, but then they'll just run towards Kaga, won't they? Well, okay, so that's, that's, this is a problem, but we might be able to handle it. This is scary, but, uh, I mean, this is scary, you're, I think, oh my, well, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what's scarier. The fact that that's a full stack and we have no army to respond to this is scary, that's the scariest part, I think. Um, i just get more units in here, but this is all fucking melee, basically. You guys in here as well. Can't even reach that if I wanted to. I do have a ninja I could sabotage with, I suppose. Um, okay, well... These my fossil joined all the wars, but they're not going to do anything about it. I'm going to send you this way too. This is one of those wars that's like... This is such a standard Shogun 2 thing. Random faction from across the world could de declare war anyone near them, but no, they decided to declare war on you, because you're the player. It's such a Shogun 2 thing, that. But, you know. Sorry, not the Alliance. I do not okay, wish to nice. Listen, Didn't expect that. But politics makes for strange and sometimes unwelcome encounters. Like, we're finally getting to a point where we're actually getting some good shit together, and then this is gonna fuck everything up, because I just have no faith in my armies right now. And the Koida, I don't know where their armies are. I'd love to get my ninja over there. I guess I can since I don't need them over there anymore. They've got actual roads here. Are you serious? Get the fuck out of here, lady. Nice. There's another one in there, but... Um, you guys can get a little bit... Oh, wait. I didn't need to move you, did I? No. You're supposed to stay in there. Almost fucked that up. I was going to say, like, where did those guys come from? I don't remember that. Okay. So this army, I guess if they come this way, we'll just have to attack them with this army first. I think we can handle it. It's a lot of foot samurai though, fuck, you know. I mean, we've got... No, we don't have anything near that, that power level. Ugh. This situation here, that's also scary, but not as scary. And I think in this one I'm just going to have to attack right now with all of the stuff I've got and hope that it works out. We definitely have more than 20 units here. 3, 6, 9, 12, plus 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, so 25 units here. If we can kill them off, if we can get, if we can get peace with them immediately, that would be fucking great, but I don't expect that that will happen. 
that doesn't look like we're getting reinforced. Okay. Let's take the army outside then, I guess. I could try, I suppose I could try and assassinate a general first. I'll definitely make things easier. Don't know what the chance is. We definitely have the money for it. 41% for the sun in there. Or the level 2 guy. I guess we got the level 2 guy instead. Nice. Good one. That's one less dude. I should have checked how much experience they had, but yeah, probably, probably doesn't matter. Um, well, actually, no, yeah. This guy has zero, so either, either the other guy also had zero, or if he had something, then it would have been worth it already. Um, this is going to be the Kodiu training round? No, because I'm not going to get the Bowery monks. I can't recruit them. I don't know what this is going to be for now. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I guess it will be now, but it doesn't matter. Um... I just need to recruit units for now, honestly. That's the main thing I need to do. So let's just do that. And other than that, they're gonna do that building, but I guess I should spend my money since, I mean, when else are we gonna do it? On something that actually does something. I guess like trying to upgrade the towns in time to stop something from happening, you know? If we can get that, if we can get this upgrade to a town, that's worth it. This one would be nice, but there's an army incoming right now, so I think maybe Owari would be more valuable. Depending on when they attack, you know, if they come and both attack me right now, it's not going to be valuable at all, because we're not going to be able to do anything about it. I guess we'll see. Um, monk units have more men per units. Are we talking about monk, bow warrior monks versus foot samurai? Foot samurai is still better. Lucas, do we still drink water for insides aren't waterproof? Seems unlikely, but just covering my bases. Well, I think it depends which path you've chosen. If you go for the old ways, keep making monks. If you go for bushy, make samurai. Nova ever expects you to walk archers behind Ashigaru walls for melee monks are not my playstyle. But they do wonders and information behind both samurai double range attack and small group. I'm not saying make only monks. I say make samurai in backs of province and get additional recruitment center. And Ize with experience for warrior monks. Uh, this is too much effort right now, but maybe in the future. Anyway, let's step. This step number one: get rid of this army here, which I honestly don't have a lot of faith, but it should certainly be possible. Foot samurai are scary. Naganata attendants are scary, but we have similar stuff. We have upgrades. We definitely have them on the range department. Even though they've got foot samurai, we have what six units in here, three in there. We got nine range units against their five. Their units are wounded too, they're not gonna have to uh, levy and stuff. We have some experience across the board. I don't think this army has any extra or like extra morale or anything, but even so, I think this... You know, looking at it like that, it should be a clear victory, but unfortunately it just doesn't really work out that way. All this stuff is just making me want to play regular Shogun 2 again. Just give me my Yari Ashigaru, the entire campaign, I'll, I'll make it happen. It's fine. Just don't make me use these fucking trash tier units. Okay, my reinforcements are coming from kind of next to them, but I might be able to run them away. I certainly fucking hope so. Um, if they do come towards me, then this hill is lovely this time of day, this time of year. Uh, I might even have enough for just a double line of infantry, but on the other hand, let's not do that. Alright, it looks like they're going to sit on that hill, which is fine by me if they want to do that. We have the range advantage, so we can just shoot them down. Shoot them off the cliffs! Okay. Um, make sure I move them all this way immediately, actually, just in case they decide to do something fucky. No, that's not actually the right units. Everyone from here, just come this way. Doesn't matter how I do it. Pretty sure I want you to walk, though. A couple more units coming on. More archers. Okay, they're gonna face me like that. That's fine. Hopefully your units won't run away again. I'm sure they will. But as long as enough of them stay, we'll be alright. Okay, we got everything now, so let's start setting up properly. 
properly. Okay. That's all my archers. Just, oh, didn't mean to do that. Just line them up. Then we got all of our trash tier stuff. Put them over here for now. Probably put them on the flanks or something, but we'll see. Or maybe kind of mix everything in together again. We'll see. For now, let's make a formation and we'll start shooting them. Foot Samurai over here. Oh, zoom in a little bit. Okay, those, uh, those sprites are a bit shit quality from that distance. Can't really show you those units too well right now. Be very satisfying to murder them though. Uh, no, they're just reforming. I was gonna say, there's no way they're coming towards me right now. Ugh, some of the units are super tired, but I don't want to go in right now. Obviously not when they've got the hill either, that's just gonna make things even worse. Okay, let's um, let's put these units in here like gradually. Or at least like some of them, just to fill out the gaps a little bit. And I can keep some units in, yeah, like keep two units behind as a fill out, like, yeah, if, if we have a gap somewhere or whatever. I think Donkey can have rough time because lack of armies. If, if there were like two or three stacks of levies more just to bury enemies under sheer numbers. Yeah. Why is Katana Cap so worthless? Yari should have never had such an anti cap bonus. Katana Cap is so vicious. I have Rise of the Samurai, but never played it, only recently we showed it to you. Is it worth a playthrough? If you like, if you're a narcissist, if you like um, making yourself go through lots of pain, then yeah, this is worth it. If you don't like torturing yourself, then you should stay away from it. Rise of the Samurai is, uh, yeah, no, no joke, it's just extremely painful. Units are absolute trash in this compared to, like, Ashigaru. And it's just not fun. Actually, just fucking do that. Alright, uh, I gotta move up a little bit more. Wait, unless they're actually. What is happening? No, they're not charging me because that's just. They're walking, right? No, they are running, but there's no charging sound. Well, whatever the fuck they're doing, if they wanna walk in. No, they're not walking into range. Too bad. I'm almost in their range, though. Okay, there's a bow levy coming towards me. And possibly more. Yeah, there's another There's a bow levy coming towards me. Okay, i got quite a few units coming towards me right now, including Foot Samurai. More Foot Samurai. Okay, this is not what I wanted. This is not the kind of battle I wanted to take right now. Especially when half my units aren't actually in range to fire right now, either. But, I guess it's happening, so... Might as well take the battle. We should still outnumber them pretty massively, even against their five units over here. The Foot Samurai can have as much armor as they want. They're still gonna... just only 60 Our dudes. Danger, danger, my lord! You guys might want to use fire arrows as well, actually. Inspire the good ones. Oh, they've got Whistling Arrow. Forgot about that. Right, don't fucking assassinate my generals, please. That's not very kind. Yeah, there goes one Foot Samurai. So yeah, scary as they are, to be fair, if we focus them down, they do go down pretty rapidly. Rapidly enough, anyway. Ooh, is that a full-on charge? I fucking hope not. It certainly looks like it, though. I really wanted to do more damage in my range. This is going to be painful now. I'm going to run them back. Okay, they're actually running towards shooting at my generals, I think. Yeah, I really would have liked to have done more damage of my range shooters here. A lot more damage, because the whole plan was to kill all their range units off and then start focusing on their melee. Alright. Boeing is strong. Yeah, the Bo Kachi are fucking insane. Yeah, they do have Whistling Arrow, which, uh, surprise is not making my units waver yet. Alright, here we go. Um. Probably use my actual bonuses to charge bonus, etc. You guys should probably just hang back here. Not go too far on the offensive and make like thick lines. I need to help out a little bit over there now. You guys thicken out the ranks a little bit there. You guys get into range to actually do stuff. Shoot the foot samurai for me. Shoot the general for me, actually. Even better. You guys too. Shoot that general. There's one on the flank somewhere. 
You guys are not gonna have to attendance. I don't want to waste you like this, not doing anything. Give me a morale, because I see the morale dwindling already. Uh, I don't know what you're doing, but just fucking shoot someone. Apparently we're supposed to be shooting at the general, not doing fuck all. Uh, go over there. We have two more, or one more melee unit to send him in right now. Our general's getting fucking destroyed. I don't know where this one is. There you are. More morale buffing for me, please. Okay, that general's taking a beating. This unit's taking a beating. Okay, we've broken some stuff on the flank. That's good. Get over here. And we got a unit against the general, but that's the Nagarata attendant, so they shouldn't rout so easily. Okay, units in the center are doing fucking horribly. But we have broken through. The general is somehow still in 20 men, even though I'm firing at them for a half an hour. Get in here. Get in here. I think we're about to rout on the right side. Well, on the, in the middle, actually. The right side's fine. We can get a mass route soon. That'd be great. A mass route. We're into the general who has now disappeared, which hopefully will make a mass route happen. Let's get in here. Might actually help as well. How is this fight going over here? Right, you probably should have just kept going, but that's okay. Let's put you in melee and start running you in there, because I think we're going to actually start doing some damage. I'm being shot still on the general. They really focus your general on this. Alright. Painful, but not as painful as it could have been. I'm quite happy with that result, to be honest. Now, if I could just kill them all off, that'd be great. That general probably got away. You might be able to cut off a whole bunch of shit over here, that would be great. Don't tell me that's the fucking general right there, by the way. Oh my god, I might be able to catch him as well. If that's the actual general, come on. Come on. One of my units is routed now. I think he's gone. For fuck's sake. Well, I can catch other stuff getting away. Uh, generals. How are we doing here? This is not the main thing, though. Like, this is a, a good victory, but the other army I'm definitely more scared... Well, the other two armies I'm more scared of. Um... On the other hand, that army that we have there ourselves is also quite a bit better than this one, but even so. Well, not better. Not with all of this stuff in here. But, yeah, better, probably. Best case scenario, we can peace out with these people, so we at least have one war taken care of, and we can start focusing on the west. I mean, either way, we shouldn't have to worry about these guys attacking me anytime soon, so I guess I can still take most of this army west to protect against those other people that declared war on me. Who you guys warned me about earlier, but... I just wouldn't listen, would I? Uh, that unit's dead. That one's dead. That unit looks like it's going to be dead if I kill a couple more. So I think we're going to be okay here. Should be able to finish off these guys without any issue anyway. Close. Yeah, whatever. Is Medieval War 2 worth trying out... Or would it be too dated? No, it's definitely... It's a fantastic game, but you kind of have to get past it, you know? If you've never played Rome 1 or Medieval 2 before, you are going to be a bit put off by the graphics and stuff, probably. But the mechanics are great. I mean, I have never played the, the basic game, but it's got so many good mods that you can try. I, I love the Third Age to the War Divide and Conquer mod. It's good. Alright, it was just the general that survived. Kaga is currently minus 9, which is fantastic. I'd like to get some experience on a general, so I might as well keep someone nearby. Yeah, let's take the main one. Can you reach? You can't. I guess it's the rest of the army that can reach. Yep. Sure. Let's just do it that way then. See you later. Lost one guy. Our general. No. Alright, that was level 4 general. Their faction leader and everything. Let's see if they'll peace out now. I imagine they won't, but it'd be nice if they would. Unacceptable. They're a fucking... They, they support my faction as well, by the way. In fact, two of the three factions I've went to war with support the Tyra. What kind of a joke is that? He won't take this because he doesn't care about military access because I don't border him. Alright, fine. No peace thing, you little bastard. Alright. And I guess this is going to go that way, because I, I still need 9 fucking happiness here. So I can't really go that way. I also want to merge these units, but... Eh, these replenish fast enough. Plus I need units right now. More than anything. Um, yeah. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. Because I do want to probably like keep some units over here. To make an army that's going to go that way. 
Uh, we'll see. I'll see the rest. Of, I'll see about the rest. Right, so I probably should just recruit a bunch of trash over here just to have more units, really. This is like this is a problem. This army is not going to be anything near enough to deal with this. I need this army, and even that's going to be tough because that's a lot of foot samurai. Like going having a lot of range units against foot samurai isn't that great, honestly. What's your chance of sabotage, by the way? Because there's a mesh missionary in there. Fifty-two percent. Yeah, that's that. Mission, our Junsetsushi is ruining me. Ninety percent. So that guy's a high level as well. Well, I guess we'll see what happens with that. I need you to just go check out if there's an army coming. Because last time, well, last we saw, their armies are over here, so they probably are still a, dif a decent ways away. But even so, plus we've just lost ally alliance with with him, and I'm sure we're still relatively friendly. No, we're not. They don't even like me. So that might be unfriendly. Not even fucking indifferent, just sort of unfriendly. Um, yeah, I really shouldn't have pulled him into that war. That's what fucked me there, I think. Do you have a marriage or something? I'd love to marry a daughter. No. Um, anyone else got a daughter I could marry? You? No. Or even a son? I have a, I don't, I don't have any daughters. Well, I have a two-year-old or something, which is not probably not quite ethical. Um, all right, well, let's end the turn and see what happens here. What do we declare? Get declared war on by even more people? Wouldn't be surprised. I just wanted to live in a peaceful time. All right, well, there's that army. Okay, good. It came as it came really close, which is great. And the other army is stationary. Fantastic. Okay, that's like best case scenario for us. Because that means we can kill off one army. Don't do it. Actually, I don't know what you're going to do. But just don't. Does she get her If she got herself killed as well, I'm going to fucking go crazy. Because that would be three in a row. Oh, shit. Okay, can we be friends? Because I don't know who you are, but... Army distracted. No, she distracted the army. That's fair enough. Uh, our money be detected. Army distracted. Trade disrupted. Mounting unrest. Sea trade route raided. Clan destroyed. Military access cancelled. Oh fuck, that's them. Well, if they don't declare war on me, I'm gonna be okay here, I think, because I can deal with this army now. With this army as well as these reinforcements. So while this is a whole bunch of trash, that's trash I can throw into their archers to shoot so my actual good units can get through. This is kind of a mental army, to be fair. Foot Samurai with Firebomb for us to back them up. There's only 20 of them. These guys, if I had Cav, would be no problem, but I don't, so... I have to just shoot them and hope for the best, I guess. Um, we do have a massive ranged advantage. Well, actually, no, we don't, because they've got so many Foot Samurai. I don't know how this is going to work, to be honest, but... That should be fine, and then we can get back into Owari before these guys become a problem. And then hopefully they'll be able to peace out, but I doubt they will, to be honest. Um... And then, yeah, I don't have currently got any problems with these guys anymore. It'll take a while before they send another army over. The Koida might become a problem, but I am mostly worried about this right here. Because if they decide, okay, well, maybe it's time to de declare war on our ally, or our former ally. Because currently they're, they're bordering an actual ally and me. So, I don't know if they're war of anyone right now. And they are still war of a bunch of people. Including the Takahashi, who I'm at war with right now. The ones who just landed an army. And the Kono. So hopefully they, they're occupied with that for a while. But the fact that they've got an army sitting here doing nothing makes me think that they're not. Anyway. Also, I just realized I actually need to up, de decrease these buildings. Or just demolish these buildings. If I want to get Cav. Because these places want Cav. Well, only one of them, I suppose. Not the other one. But yeah, I do want Cav at some point. Either way, though. I'm going to end the uh, stream here. Because we have a, a lovely battle waiting for us here next time. And I might as well just uh, end it on a relatively decent note still, before we're about to get fucked by these guys. Campaign might very quickly go down the drain here, honestly. Um, I think I'm, the major, mis the main mistake I made was asking them to join that war. I didn't realize, or I didn't, I didn't remember they were allied, and that's really fucked me there. But anyway, thank you guys all so much for watching today's stream. Uh, it was a bit of a quiet one actually, about a hundred viewers all the way through, which is not terrible, but. For a Sunday evening, I was expecting a little bit more, but it's okay. I'm glad you guys were all with me, at least. Um, I will be back tomorrow. Um, normally, I think Monday will be my day off.
but since I'm moving out uh, towards the end of the coming week, I will not be streaming on Thursday and Friday. I've said this a couple times already, but I'll keep repeating it. I won't be streaming Thursday and Friday. Um, so I will be streaming tomorrow instead. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hello, Rodrigo Costa, saying hello from Portugal. Hello back to you. Thank you for watching. Until next time, tomorrow, have a good day and goodbye.